Chapter 601 The ones to die will be you translator, born to be being enveloped by that light. Long Chen felt as if he was an insect frozen in ice. No matter what he tried, he was unable to shake this strange force. This could no longer be described as just force. It was practically a kind of law, and it was impossible to break free of it with force. Space twisted, and Long Chen felt as if his whole body was about to be torn apart. When it stopped twisting, Long Chen saw he had appeared in a huge plaza. He's here. Activate the grand formation. We can't let him escape. A shout suddenly rang out, and the space around him raged. A barrier of light covered the entire sky, blocking any possible escape paths. Long Chen was still dizzy. After undergoing that spatial twisting, he was sluggish. When he finally clearly saw his surroundings, he found he was completely surrounded by layers of enemies. Seeing those people's robes, Long Chen's heart sank. He knew he had fallen into desperate straits. This was definitely the Yun family's ancestral land. Space twisted, and another figure appeared beside Long Chen. Without waiting for that figure to fully materialize, Long Chen's palm had already stretched out. That person was sent flying like a spinning top. Although he hadn't clearly seen his face, Long Chen recognized this aura. It was Yun Wusheng. Taking advantage of when he still hadn't recovered from the teleportation, Long Chen instantly grabbed Yun Wusheng's throat and placed his saber against his neck. Whether it was forceful or voluntary, such a teleportation would cause the space to twist, making a person's soul dizzy. So just like this, Yun Wusheng was caught by Long Chen. With one of his hands clenching Yun Wusheng's throat and the other pressing his saber next to Yun Wusheng's body, Long Chen caused a burst of startled cries to rumble from the entire plaza. Bastard, you really are looking to die. Release the junior master. The Yun family's experts had long since made their preparations. Seeing Long Chen arrive, they immediately activated their grand formation, first sealing off any way for him to run. But Yun Wusheng was too impatient. He should have first waited a while before coming. That way, Long Chen would already be fighting with the Yun family's experts and wouldn't have an opportunity to catch him. Long Chen, he, you won't be able to get away. Even after being cut by Long Chen's saber, Yun Wusheng seemed to not sense any pain. He laughed sinisterly, just like a bloodthirsty madman. Due to the pill he had consumed and how he had ignited his ancestral blood, Yun Wusheng had aged a great deal. He was practically a withered old man now. However, his eyes were still filled with a chilling rancor. So what if I can't get away? To be able to drag down a celestial with me in death is also worth it, sneered Long Chen. You want to kill me? Haha, <laughs> it seems you don't have that ability. Yun King, bring out the gift I prepared for Long Chen, shouted Yun Wusheng. A path opened amongst the Yun family's experts. When three figures appeared before Long Chen, he couldn't help but tremble, and killing intent filled him. There was one man, one woman, and one girl. This middle-aged man was his father, Long Shiang Xiao, while the woman was his mother. Within his mother's embrace was a little girl who only appeared to be two years old. This little girl looked like a beautiful doll carved out of porcelain, but her beautiful eyes were filled with terror, and she tightly hugged her mother, Chen Er. Seeing Long Chen, his mother let out a choked sob. After two years apart, her son had grown taller, and his face had become more resolute. He had become a true man. But seeing him covered with blood and his pale face, tears streamed down her face. As for the little girl, seeing these tears, she hastily wiped them away and asked, Mom, why are you crying? Did that evil woman hit you again? A-H-H-H-H. Yun Wusheng. The veins on Long Chen's forehead bulged. His saber stabbed into Yun Wusheng's back over and over again, hitting bones. He wished he could tear Yun Wusheng apart right now. Ha ha ha. P-F-T. Long Chen. My gift isn't bad, right? PFFT, Yun Wusheng cackled madly, constantly coughing up blood. Long Chen, release my Yun family's junior master, roared Yun King upon seeing him torture Yun Wusheng. She was standing beside his parents. Long Chen, ignore us. At this point, you have to think of a way to run and get revenge for us. Ah, Long Shiang Xiao felt a burst of pain from his shoulder as his arm was forcibly torn off, blood dyeing his body. Shiang Xiao, daddy. Mrs. Long and the little girl let out startled screams, but Long Shiang Xiao gave them a glare, not letting any more words to slip out of their mouths. Long Chen, you are our pride. There's no one in this world that can live forever. Don't do anything stupid once again. Long Shiang Xiao only got half of his words out before Yun King tore off his other arm. Idiot. Shut up. Yun King, you fucking BTCH. If I don't tear you to pieces, then I, Long Chen, swear I'm not human. 
Long Chen's eyes almost popped out of his head. Seeing his father's torn off arms made him feel like his own heart was tearing apart. Yun King disdainfully sneered. You want to kill me? How about I first kill your sister instead? I want to see whether or not you'll release the junior master. No. Yun King forcibly took away the girl from Mrs. Long's embrace. She tried to fight, but she was pressed down by the person behind her, and in her panic, she directly fainted. Yun King held the girl by her throat. The girl's eyes were filled with terror, but she didn't say a word. He, little girl, are you afraid? Yun King was holding her throat, but she was being very careful. She allowed her to speak, not choking her to death. I'm not afraid. Daddy said I have to be a brave person like my big brother. My big brother is a true hero. Even if you kill us, my big brother will definitely get revenge for us. Despite clearly being filled with terror, this little girl still clenched her teeth and spat out these words. Her voice was tender, but it was filled with confidence toward this big brother of hers. She wasn't aware that this big brother was standing not far from her. All she knew was that she had a big brother. She didn't even know what his name was. Release her. Long Chen's voice had become hoarse. His anger had reached its peak but he was powerless. He was filled with pain. He knew the smart choice was to ignore his parents and sister. He was powerless to save them. The only one he might be able to save was himself. Even if he released the hostage in his hand, that wouldn't change his family's fate. Doing so would be extremely foolish. Long Chen ran countless hypothetical scenarios in his head. Even if he used up every single one of his trump cards, he still wouldn't be able to resolve his current predicament. He felt fury. He felt stifled, and he felt like he was on the verge of going crazy. No, I think I won't release her. Instead, I'll kill her first, then kill your mother, and then kill your father. Don't you think yourself to be very strong? I want to see what kind of expression will you have when the people closest to you die one by one? I'm very interested. Ha ha ha, sneered Yun King. She suddenly increased her strength, making it so the little girl was unable to breathe. The girl instinctively tried to tear away but she was too weak. All her struggling was to no avail. It was just a deathbed struggle. You win. Long Chen closed his eyes in pain. Blood drinker fell to the ground. He hated himself for being powerless. He hated himself for being stupid. He was unable to just watch as his sister died right in front of him. He was unable to do that. Long Chen, how could you be so stupid? You, roared Long Shiang Xiao. Shut up. Yin King furiously punched Long Shiang Xiao in the abdomen causing him to vomit blood and making it so he couldn't say another word. Seeing his father's disappointed and pained gaze, Long Chen was filled with regret. Sorry father, your son is no hero. All he is, is a stupid idiot, an incompetent coward. Ha 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 ha, Yun Wusheng raised his head and laughed. Seeing that Long Chen had given up, his voice was filled with delight at getting revenge. He viciously slammed his fist into Long Chen's stomach. That immense force caused Long Chen to vomit a mouthful of blood and take several steps back. Countless runes appeared around Yun Wusheng, and his wounds instantly healed. He sent a kick toward Long Chen. Long Chen, you and, where's your resistance now? How is it? In the end, aren't you still like a dead dog in front of me? Bang. What happened to all your abilities from before? Bang. Why aren't you fighting back? Bang. Bang. Yun Wusheng was like a madman, crazily beating Long Chen. Long Chen continuously vomited blood, but he didn't resist. Wusheng, that's about enough. It's time to get down to business. We need a secrets. An ancient voice suddenly rang out in the air. I know. Don't worry. I won't beat him to death. I just want to release my resentment before the soul sark. Novaloon.com bang. Yin Wusheng punched Long Chen in the face, breaking his nose. Long Chen's vision darkened as if he had fallen into endless darkness. He could no longer feel any pain. As for the voices outside, they became more and more distant. He seemed to hear a tender voice calling Big Brother but it wasn't clear. It was too distant. I'm going to die like this? How infuriating. Long Chen was filled with endless hate, but he was unable to release it. Hating himself didn't have any use. Are you very angry? Suddenly, a voice rang out in his mind. Yes, I'm angry enough to destroy this entire world. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to ask where this voice was coming from. Then we can make a deal. I'll lend my strength to you, allowing you to save your family, and you will owe me a favor. In the future, you will repay me with your life. Are you willing? Willing. Long Chen didn't even hesitate. You won't regret it. I won't regret it. All right then. I trust you. Release your anger as you please. A certain object in his body began to shine with a brilliant light. 
It was unknown how much time Yun Wusheng had just spent beating him. Long Chen was lying on the ground, looking like a lump. Only now did Yun Wusheng stop, suddenly taking out a sharp needle. That was something that could completely absorb a person's soul. In the future, they could go through the memories of that soul as they pleased. It was much more effective than a soul sark. Die. Yun Wusheng wanted to stab the needle over the space between Long Chen's eyebrows. Once this needle pierced into it, there would no longer be a Long Chen in this world. Suddenly, Long Chen, who had appeared like a corpse just now, extended a hand and caught the needle. His eyes slowly opened, and endless killing intent surfaced within his eyes. The one to die will be you. Chapter 602 Sweeping through an ancient family translator. Born to be haha, we'll be the ones to die? What a joke. Yun King, kill that girl for me, said Yun Wusheng. He, all right. I also want to find out how that will feel. Yun King looked at the girl in her hands, just about to drop her on the ground, but her expression suddenly changed as she realized she was unable to move. It wasn't just her. Yun Wusheng's expression also changed. The tens of thousands of experts from the Yun family all became shocked as they realized some kind of strange energy made it so they couldn't even blink. Long Chen slowly rose from the ground. He walked in front of Yun King and gently took the girl away. At this time, the girl had already fainted. Seeing a red handprint deeply imprinted on her neck, he felt a burst of pain. Long Chen, Long Shiang Xiao also had no idea what was happening. Dad, your child was unfilial to implicate you. I'll send you away right now. Long Chen placed a hand on Mrs. Long, and a gentle stream of spiritual ki woke her instantly. Mom, look after dad and sister. I'll have little snow bring you away. He didn't give her a chance to reply. This restrictive power had a time limit, and Long Chen had no time to explain. Summoning Little Snow and giving Long Shiang Xiao a healing pill, he told Little Snow, I'll send you out of here, bring my parents to a city, and I'll quickly join up with you. A scale appeared in Long Chen's hand. It released a green light that wrapped around Little Snow and the others. The light then pierced toward the sky. This light tore straight through the grand formation, leaving behind a hole in the barrier. Little Snow and the others disappeared. Bastard die. At this moment, that mysterious energy faded and all of them immediately regained their freedom. Yun Wusheng was the first to attack Long Chen with a steel awl. Long Chen stretched out his hand, and Blood Drinker flew into his grasp, clenching Blood Drinker. Long Chen felt his whole body overflowing with energy, as well as endless killing intent. Die. Long Chen slashed down his saber. Yun Wusheng's all was cut in two. Yun Wusheng himself was cut in two. The entire plaza that was dozens of miles long was also cut in two. A whole line of experts, whether they were at Meridian Opening or Xi'anshan, was turned into a bloody mist. The Yun family's experts were all horrified. After cutting Yun Wusheng in two, he was about to continue attacking him as he knew he could heal with the Heavenly Dale recovery. But then he saw a figure hiding in the crowd. Yun King, clenching his teeth. Long Chen directly ignored Yun Wusheng and raised his saber. Split the heavens. Boom. A terrifying Saber key filled all of heaven and earth. As it slashed down, a large, runic hand suddenly appeared and smashed Long Chen's Saber key apart. See Expansion Expert. A cold smile appeared on Long Chen's face. Two elderly figures appeared in front of him. As expected, you really do have some shocking secrets. He, excellent, those will be my Yun family soon. One of them laughed. Hand over your secrets. The other elder was also incomparably excited. A large hand slammed down toward Long Chen. Divine Ring. Three-star battle armor. Green Dragon Possession. A three-colored divine ring appeared behind Long Chen, and three stars revolved in his eyes. His aura was instantly pushed to the peak, but that still wasn't all. At this moment, the dragon scale in Long Chen's body disappeared. Heaven and earth rumbled, and a dragon cry seemed to resound throughout the world. Within the divine ring, the image of a green dragon appeared. When that green dragon appeared, it formed a resonance with heaven and earth. An unprecedented aura soared out of Long Chen. Rumble. The Yun family's grand formation was directly blown apart by this aura. What? The two C expansion experts were completely appalled. The current Long Chen seemed like a completely different person. His aura had become fierce and violent. An aura that wasn't even human. It seemed more like a monster's. Release your anger as much as you please. That voice once more rang out in Long Chen's mind. Kill. Long Chen's furious roar shook the land. Blood Drinker seemed to come alive as it was nourished with some kind of energy, and a huge saber image slashed down on the two sea expansion experts. Void Shield. Wava Breaker. The two of them were both shocked. Long Chen's attack actually made them feel a sense of danger. 
The thing that made them furious was that this was the Yun family's ancestral land. They didn't dare attack with their full strength, or that would completely destroy the Yun family. They could only defend. Boom. The immense saber image viciously slashed down, and both of their defenses were actually blown away instantly. A terrifying energy wreaked havoc in the Yun family's plaza. The surrounding experts didn't even have time to run before being blown to bits. Seeing all of these experts being blown apart, the two of them were incredibly distressed. It had to be known that this was the core strength of the Yun family. Although a portion of them had realized the situation had changed and had fled in advance, allowing them to save their lives, over half of them had tried to flee too late and were killed. Those lucky survivors continued to flee. They had never imagined that the person they had brought over, the one whom they had thought would be a god of wealth, would suddenly become a god of death. This was completely out of their expectations. If this continued, not only would they not obtain Long Chen's secrets, but the entire Yun family would also be destroyed. As for Yun King, she was now completely terrified, and she was fleeing in the crowd, trying to keep herself concealed. The current Long Chen gave her a feeling like a blade was pressed against her throat, one that might take her life at any moment. As she was fleeing, a figure suddenly appeared in front of her, a blood-colored saber resting on his shoulder. Yun King screamed in terror and instantly turned still. She knew she should be running, but in that instant, she felt like her body was no longer listening to her, and she could only tremble. Long Chen's hand tightly clenched her throat, and he raised her into the air as if she were just a chicken. Endless terror appeared in Yun King's eyes. She looked up at the two sea expansion experts, hoping they would save her. Unfortunately, she saw that they didn't even look at her. They were ordering people to run as fast as they could, and it seemed they had also told Yun Wusheng to go into the Patriarch's secluded room to ask for help. Suddenly, a blazing flame enveloped Yun King. That wasn't the Earth Flame, but his Pill Flame. If it was the Earth Flame, then Yun King would be instantly burned to ashes. Long Chen didn't do so, as that was unable to resolve the hatred in his heart. A-H-H. -H. Yun King's miserable shriek rang out. Long Chen's pill flame was not just burning her body but also her soul. That kind of pain was indescribable. Her shriek reverberated throughout the sky, but the two sea expansion experts still didn't even look at her. They both hoped Yun King could hold on for a bit longer. Using her life to exchange for a bit more time for everyone else to get away was worth it. Regretfully, Yun King's spiritual strength wasn't so powerful. She only lasted for a few breaths before her soul completely burned to nothing. Long Chen waved his hand, blowing away her ashes off his body. At the same time, a certain image on his right arm lit up. A flame sphere appeared in his hand. At first, that sphere was only the size of a fist, but as the flame tattoo on Long Chen's arm dimmed, that sphere grew larger and larger. Long Chen slowly floated into the air. The blue flame in his hand had reached a diameter of a mile. That was his limit. This was his first time drawing out all the energy of the earth flame. He hadn't kept the slightest bit back. Previously, he had had to hold back to avoid being killed by the explosion. But with the green dragon possession, he no longer had to fear that. This level of strength was unable to menace the expansion experts. However, Long Chen's target was not them. It was those people running away. All right, go incinerate all those sinners. Long Chen waved his hand, and that huge flame sphere shot down like a meteorite. The two sea expansion experts' expressions changed. They recognized this to be Long Chen's terrifying earth flame. Although this was not the complete body of the earth flame, with how much of its power having been compressed, its explosive strength was enough to raise the entire Yun family. The two of them hastily formed hand seals and the void rumbled as countless runes surged forth, wrapping around the flame sphere. Those runes tightly bound the flame sphere, wanting to erase its energy. However, that was not possible. Explode. Following Long Chen's cold shout, the runes wrapping around the flame sphere became still and then burst apart. The power of idiots really is limitless. Long Chen smiled mockingly. Flames exploded in every direction. The sea expansion experts' runes had become oil to the fire, increasing the power of the earth flame. A-H-H. -H. No. The two sea expansion experts turned pale. Endless flames wrapped with runes filled everything within thousands of miles. Not only was the Yun family's ancestral land gone from this world, but even the surrounding mountains had been turned to ashes. Long Chen. Die. The two of them roared furiously and took out their weapons, charging at Long Chen. Chapter 603 The Yun Family's Patriarch Translator Born to be the Yun Family's 2C expansion experts erupted with killing intent. They no longer had any misjivings, and they completely released their auras. 
There truly was nothing to have misjivings about anymore. The entire Yun family had been destroyed, and the dead could not be more dead. The two of them felt their hairs standing on end from rage. Die. The two of their swords emitted a cold light. The wings on their backs trembled, and they shot straight toward Long Chen. One move. Killing intent still burned in Long Chen's eyes. Even after killing all those people, his hatred still hadn't lessened. Yun Wusheng was a piece of trash, a human dreg. However, such a person was able to receive the blessing of the heavenly deos. Just that reason alone was enough for Long Chen to have an urge to completely destroy this world. Seeing the two of them coming at him, the green dragon image from the divine ring released a vast energy that poured throughout his body. In that instant, he felt like a volcano had erupted within him. Split the heavens, all that energy, all his spiritual key, instantly passed through nine acupuncture points. Buzz. A monstrous saber image pierced straight through the void, appearing like a crescent moon, a bloody crescent moon. Heaven and earth rumbled intensely as if the entire world was being split in two by this attack. Boom. The two sea expansion experts attacked with their full strength. However, they were still blown to pieces by this one attack. PFFT. Long Chen suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood. He was horrified to see that his meridians had become covered in fine cracks. Your physical body is too weak and unable to endure the green dragon power. Not even one ten thousandth. That voice rang out in Long Chen's head again. At that critical moment, this voice had taught Long Chen how to use this green dragon possession, allowing him to summon the green dragon's power for himself. The voice's master had also helped Long Chen solidify space, allowing him to send his family away safely. Now hearing this voice explain what had happened, Long Chen was horrified. Within the same realm, his physical body was unrevealed. If Yun Wusheng didn't have the cry of the heavenly deos to protect himself, Long Chen could kill him with a single punch. But even such a physical body was called too weak now. That was a large blow to Long Chen. His physical body was his strongest point, and it was also the thing he had the most confidence in. What? What is going on here? Suddenly, a furious row rang out. A white-haired elder stood on the ground, looking at the scene around him with disbelief. Behind him was the terrified Yun Wusheng. There was a large cave behind them. When Long Chen had first started his slaughter, Yin Wusheng had been ordered by the two sea expansion experts to go ask the patriarch to come out. Their patriarch had already reached the peak of sea expansion. A few days ago, he had made some comprehensions and felt the bottleneck loosen slightly, so he had gone into seclusion to attack a higher realm. Before entering seclusion, he had said that unless the Yun family had reached a life or death point, they were not to disturb him. His special secluded room was located underground and it was protected by a powerful formation. Despite the heaven-toppling changes that had occurred on the surface, he hadn't felt the slightest fluctuation during his seclusion. Back then, the two sea expansion experts had already realized that this matter was too large to handle on their own. Even if they could kill Long Chen, the Yun family's ancestral land would be destroyed. So their only hope of avoiding that had been for their patriarch to suppress Long Chen. If all their junior generation of disciples were killed, leaving behind just their old, withered selves. Then the Yun family's inheritance would still be severed. When Yun Wusheng had barged into the patriarch's seclusion room, the patriarch had been at a critical moment. He almost became berserk upon being interrupted, coming incredibly close to killing Yun Wusheng in his rage. But then when he heard the Yun family was on the verge of being exterminated, he had hastily rushed above ground with Yun Wusheng. Unfortunately, at that time, everything had already ended. The patriarch saw everything within thousands of miles had been destroyed. The thing that made his heart turn cold was that he could no longer sense the bloodline energy of his Yun family. In other words, within thousands of miles, there were no longer any living Yun family disciples. He suddenly released a furious roar. He even thought he was dreaming. But since he had started cultivating, it had been several thousand years since he had had a dream. Long Chen. Yun Wusheng saw the distant Long Chen and became filled with terror. Long Chen had already become his nightmare. Speak. What happened? Who did this? If you don't tell me, this old man will flay your skin and burn your soul for an eternity, roared the patriarch upon seeing Long Chen. As expected, from top to bottom, you're all a bunch of trash. That pompous, arrogant manner of yours really is nauseating. These people were all killed by me. So if you want revenge, come at me. Long Chen pointed his saber at the Yun family's patriarch, overflowing with battle intent. The reason his hate had yet to lessen was because he had yet to personally kill Yun Wusheng. Seeing that he was still alive, seeing his target right there, 
his killing intent erupted. Brat, you can die. The patriarch roared and disappeared. When he reappeared, he was already right next to Long Chen, reaching out to grab his throat. Buzz. Long Chen had long since been prepared. He once more entered his strongest combat state, already having summoned the green dragon possession. Long Chen felt no fear toward the Yun family's patriarch, and his saber slashed down. HMPH. This little bit the patriarch only had time to get half of his words out before Long Chen's saber slashed down on his room-covered hand. This palm attack, which he had absolute confidence in, was cut in two. Even his arm was almost slashed apart. The sharp pain made him hastily retreat in shock. Looking at the blood pouring out of his hand and then looking at Long Chen's saber, both greed and shock appeared on his face. A treasure weapon. You actually have a treasure item. Trash really is trash. As soon as you see a treasure, you get greedy. Even forgetting your enmity of having all your progeny killed. The fact that trash like you could live in this world really means the heavens are blind. Sneered Long Chen. At the same time, he absorbed the energy of the green dragon image in his divine ring and slashed out with split the heavens. Long Chen knew this old monster was many times stronger than those two sea expansion experts from before. He couldn't hold back at all. This power was not his own. He could only borrow it temporarily. However, being able to borrow such strength to fight would be greatly beneficial to him in the future, giving him increased control over his own power. The Yun family's patriarch took out a staff with a dragon head at the top. This staff was extremely heavy, as thick as a thigh, and longer than three meters. It collided with Long Chen's saber. Both Long Chen and the Yun family's patriarch were blown back dozens of meters. The patriarch looked at the nick that had been cut into his staff. He, as expected, it really is a treasure weapon. Your life and your weapon will all be mine. The wings behind this elder suddenly shook, and he charged at Long Chen. Boom, boom, boom. Long Chen's saber continuously collided with the patriarch's staff. Continuous explosions echoed out, and the powerful shockwaves made Yun Wusheng tightly cover his ears. Blood slowly dripped from them. Previously, he hadn't had any defenses up and his eardrums had been broken by the shockwaves. Now he couldn't hear anything. All he saw was a sky full of dust. Long Chen exchanged hundreds of blows with the patriarch. The Yun family's patriarch was just too strong. He had practically absorbed all the energy within thousands of miles for his own use, and Long Chen was powerless to do anything to him in the short term. Seeing his staff smashing toward him, Long Chen directly stabbed his saber at the patriarch's chest, not defending against his staff at all. The patriarch was startled. He naturally wouldn't be willing to lose his life to kill Long Chen, and he hastily blocked. But then he realized that this attack was a fake. Long Chen's saber was already slashing toward his waist. HMPH. Childish. The patriarch sneered and swept out his staff. This attack was completely ordinary and was unable to menace him. Boom. But when their weapons collided, the patriarch was shocked to sense some powerful strength turn his arm numb, and he was blown back. Washing. Careful. His expression suddenly changed as he found out that Long Chen was heading directly toward Yun Washing. Right now, Yin Wusheng was just foolishly staring at the dust in the air, unaware that a death god was approaching him. Although the patriarch gave him a timely warning, Yin Wusheng's eardrums had already been broken, and he hadn't healed them yet. Unable to hear anything, the only thing he could sense was the intense fluctuations in the air, but the shockwaves from the intense battle just now were still reverberating throughout the world. The patriarch's warning was covered by those shockwaves. Yun Wusheng suddenly felt a burst of pain from his chest as a saber pierced through him, lifting him into the air. Long, Long Chen, Yun Wusheng was filled with terror. This death god was once more standing in front of him, causing him to quiver. Long Chen pulled out his saber and clenched Yun Wusheng's throat. He icily said to the patriarch, Do you want to come over and try it, Long Chen, if you dare, PFFT. Yun Wusheng's arm separated from his body. Bastard, PFFT. Yun Wusheng's other arm left his body. You're courting death. PFFT. Yun Wusheng's legs both fell. Long Chen. Yun Wusheng's limbs separated from the rest of his body. Holding Yun Wusheng's head. He icily looked at the Yun family's patriarch. Please. Continue threatening. Chapter 604 Soul Devouring Strike Translator. Born to be each time the Yun family's patriarch had threatened him. Long Chen had cut off another part of Yun Wusheng's body. Now Long Chen icily looked at the Yun family's patriarch while holding the only remaining part of Yun Wusheng that was still attached to his body, his head. However, as Yun Wusheng was a celestial, even though the only remaining part of him was his head, 
he still wouldn't die immediately. Long Chen, calm down a bit. We can discuss this. The patriarch forcibly suppressed his fury. Ah, Yin Wusheng suddenly let out a mournful cry. Long Chen had placed his finger on his forehead and was boring into his soul with a spiritual awl. Having advanced to meridian opening, Long Chen's spiritual strength was stronger than ever. Although he wasn't a specialized soul cultivator, having been in contact with Men Qi for so long, he had learned quite a few soul arts. Because he didn't have time to train in them, they were slightly lacking when it came to using them against opponents. But when it came to tormenting people, they were more than enough. Bastard. I've already admitted defeat. Quickly stop. Raged the patriarch. He had lived for countless years. But this was his first time speaking so subserviently. And it was toward a little brat to top it off. The most infuriating thing to him was that Long Chen was still ignoring him. Continuing to torment Yun Wusheng. Your admission of defeat Chiring has nothing to do with me. Replied Long Chen icily. He increased his spiritual strength. A-H-H-H. Yin Wusheng's mournful cry continued to resound throughout the world. He felt like millions of needles were stabbing into his soul. That kind of pain was enough to make him want to die. But the pain of the soul was unrelated to the physical body. No matter how much he longed to, he was unable to pass out. He suddenly felt that death was an incredibly happy thing. Bastard. Stop. What do you want? The Yun family's patriarch was on the verge of exploding. The Yun family's millions of members had all been killed now. Their sole scion was Yun Wusheng. As for the patriarch, he was too old. Although his cultivation base had reached the peak of sea expansion, his essence key had already declined. There was no way he could birth more progeny. But Yun Wusheng was in the springtime of his youth. As long as he found a few hundred wives for him, then several thousand years from now, the Yun family's bloodline could be revived. It could be said Yun Wusheng was the sole hope of the Yun family now. So the patriarch had no choice but to suppress his hatred of Long Chen. What do I want? Shouldn't I be the one asking you? You arrogant idiots. Did you think yourselves as gods? I had nothing to do with your Yun family. But you forced me to this point. Now you want to ask me what I want? From Yun Wusheng to Han Shian Iu and then to Yun Wusheng. Everything is because of your Yun family. First. You caused so many of my brothers to die in the Jiuli secret realm. Then in the Zhuanshan monastery, you actually chased me down for thousands of miles. And then you even harmed those brothers of the Muxu mercenary unit. Now you've even placed your sights on my family. This is all because of your own greed. You vainly wanted my secrets. Don't you feel embarrassed to ask me this now? Let me ask you. If you were me, what would you want? Long Chen's voice was extremely calm. But that calm contained endless grievance and it was much more frightening than a roar. The patriarch's heart sank. He was aware of Long Chen's matters. However, Long Chen was just a small cultivator without any background. He had never placed him in his eyes. When Yun Wusheng had expressed his interest in Long Chen's secrets, he had simply smiled slightly. In fact, he had encouraged him, saying that if he wanted to take action, he had to show the domineering side of the Yun family. As a result, Yun Wusheng's actions had drawn a killing god to the Yun family. Of the Yun family, the only ones remaining were Yun Wusheng and the patriarch. And from Long Chen's attitude, it seemed Yun Wusheng's death was certain. Bastard, if you dare kill Wusheng, I'll exterminate your whole family roared the patriarch. Long Chen didn't reply to him. It was Yun Wusheng's miserable shriek that delivered him Long Chen's answer. A ball of flames had appeared in Long Chen's hand, roasting Yun Wusheng. That was the earth flame. After that full strength attack just now, it had only just recovered this little bit of power. So now it wasn't too strong nor was it too weak. It was just perfect to allow Yun Wusheng to enjoy the feeling of being burned. Furthermore, Yun Wusheng's soul was also being burned within the earth flame. Truly pushing his suffering to the peak. Release Wusheng. The patriarch roared and charged at Long Chen. His staff smashed down ferociously on him. Long Chen didn't dodge, nor did he block. He simply threw over Yun Wusheng's head. PFFT. The patriarch hastily pulled back his force. The reversal of his spiritual key caused him to cough up a mouthful of blood. Long Chen. The patriarch roared furiously, seeming like an angry lion. His eyes practically spat flames. Are you angry? Haha. <laughs> so even you know how to be angry. When you killed others, did you once bother with their anger? When you killed others, you simply felt yourselves to be a high and aloof ancient family. Treating other humans simply as ants. A bout of fury from you caused rivers of blood to flow. He. Today. I'll let you idiots know that in this world. There is no one that has absolute power. 
It was you people that pushed things to this point. I'll take the place of these blind heavens to put you in your place. Long Chen's expression was fierce, and with a furious roar, Yin Wusheng's head exploded, his soul erased. In that instant, runes erupted into the air from Yun Wusheng's headless corpse. Those were his heavenly Dao runes. Now that their master had died, these runes tried to return to heaven and earth. Buzz. Long Chen slashed his saber down on them. You blind things. You want to be recycled and given to another idiot. His saber released a powerful fluctuation that completely destroyed all those heavenly Deos runes. Once they were destroyed, they were like snow on a hot day, quickly dissipating. As they faded from the air, they appeared in the primal chaos space, merging into that small tree. Long Chen wasn't able to pay attention to those small details. He was focused completely on the patriarch, as he sensed he was about to go berserk. The patriarch was clenching his teeth, his eyes scarlet and his whole body quivering as if he was having a seizure. But his aura was climbing to a terrifying level. Long Chen, he was like a crazy magical beast, his staff unleashing a fierce tempest of attacks. Long Chen could only raise his saber to take them head on. Powerful explosions rocked the world and the ground seemed to turn liquid, constantly deforming from their exchanges. Yun Wusheng's death had made the patriarch go completely insane because the Yun family's inheritance was truly severed. Although there might be some more members of the Yun family in the outside world, those were not part of the main bloodline, and they were unable to continue their bloodline. The Yun family's chances of surviving had been completely erased. Long Chen's saber released a bloody light as it fiercely defended against the patriarch's full-strength attacks. The wings on the patriarch's back trembled, releasing berserk runes that possessed a heaven-shaking power. Each attack was incredibly powerful. If Long Chen had been relying on his own strength, he wouldn't be able to receive a single attack. He would have been directly smashed to smithereens. That was the terrifying power of sea expansion experts. But the illusory green dragon behind Long Chen was giving him endless power. He was able to draw out as much power from this practically bottomless source as he wanted. Unfortunately. Long Chen was unable to use much of this power. It was like he was using a cup to draw out the water of a huge sea. Compared to the green dragon, Long Chen's own power was truly not worth anything. However, this power still allowed Long Chen to fight against the Yun family's patriarch without showing any signs of losing. That made him incomparably shocked. He was currently adapting to using this terrifying strength. Even once this power faded, Long Chen's physical body would still have strengthened a great deal. Die. The patriarch roared, his staff releasing a blinding light as it smashed down on Long Chen. This attack was stronger than any of his previous blows. Long Chen was startled as this attack had come out of nowhere, but he sensed that it posed a fatal danger to him. What Long Chen didn't know was that after entering the sea expansion realm, cultivators entered a different kind of level. Their techniques would no longer be called techniques, but called magical arts. These so-called magical arts used the laws of heaven and earth. Compared to battle skills, there was an immense difference. But these kinds of magical arts required a profound comprehension of the laws of the world. Furthermore, most terrifying of all, if magical arts were used even slightly wrong, it would cause a powerful backlash. The backlash of the world's laws would cause a person's body to explode. When Long Chen had been fighting those two sea expansion experts previously, they didn't dare use any magical arts because they were unable to control them properly and they didn't dare take that risk. But by the time they thought that taking that risk would be worth it, it was already too late. Long Chen's saber had killed them too fast. Most likely, the two of them were so furious at having been killed by Long Chen that they would die another time from rage. The Yun family's patriarch was able to rely on his core energy to control the laws of the world to unleash this heaven-shaking attack. Soul-devouring strike. His staff lit up with countless runes, causing the void to turn turbulent, and it smashed down. Long Chen's heart sank. This attack was too terrifying, and he had never run into something like this. Tightly clenching blood drinker, he poured his energy into it. Split the heavens. Boom. A world-shaking explosion rang out. Long Chen felt as if he had been smashed by a heavenly staff, and he vomited a mouthful of blood as he crashed into the ground. A bottomless hole appeared on the ground. The earth rippled from the aftershock, and the ancestral land of the Yun family became a basin. PFFT. The Yun family's patriarch also vomited a mouthful of blood, his expression pale. Due to his fury, he hadn't controlled his strength perfectly, and he had received a heavy backlash. But he ignored his injury and immediately went to see what had happened with Long Chen. When he saw him, his pupils shrank. 
Chapter 605 Jade C. Gold Bell Translator Born to be Long Chen crawled up from the ground. His hair was a mess, and his body was covered in blood. His robes had been completely destroyed, and even his pants were mostly gone. There was only a single strip that waved in the wind, appearing extremely carefree. A single attack broke the majority of my bones. How terrifying. If it hadn't been for the primal chaos bead, then even with the green dragon possession, I'd have still died. Long Chen was shocked inside. At the same time, he thanked his foresight in having planted countless large trees in the primal chaos space. A vast amount of life energy instantly healed him. Celestials had their heavenly day of recovery. That was already completely monstrous. But the primal chaos bead wasn't at all inferior. Their heavenly day of recovery required a few seconds to heal. But Long Chen's recovery was almost instantaneous. Furthermore, other than attacks from Celestials who were supported by the Heavenly Deos, any other injuries healed easily. That terrifying attack only took a tenth of the Primal Chaos Space's life energy. This gave Long Chen a large boost in confidence. Old Fogey, I'll reunite you with your family Long Chen raised blood drinker, shooting forward at the still-shocked Patriarch. The Yun family's Patriarch blocked Long Chen's saber, but then he vomited three mouthfuls of blood due to the backlash from the natural laws. However, Long Chen was still as strong as before. The difference between them immediately widened. Impossible. He felt like he was going crazy. Long Chen was just a rookie. In terms of age, the two couldn't even be compared. But now that he had even taken the risk of a backlash to use his strongest attack, Long Chen still wasn't injured at all. He looked at him like he was a ghost. Old ghost. Get going. After sending the patriarch flying back, Long Chen raised his left hand and shot out a lightning arrow. The Patriarch was caught off guard, not expecting Long Chen to have long-range attacks like this. Furthermore, his attack was too fast, reaching him in an instant. He hastily dodged to the side. The sound of bones breaking rang out. The lightning had shattered his shoulder, causing his left arm to leave the rest of his body. But he had managed to save his head. The Patriarch let out a mournful shriek. It had already been countless years since he had received a physical injury. Die. When Long Chen had sent out that lightning arrow. He hadn't had any expectations of it killing him. So at the same time as he had shot it out, he had also sprung into action, appearing like a phantom on the Patriarch's right, his saber slashing down. His timing and angle could only be described as perfect. He didn't give the Patriarch any time to counterattack. This attack definitely could kill the Patriarch. But Long Chen's heart suddenly pounded, and his scalp turned numb. A sensation of death filled him. Although he didn't know what was going on, Long Chen immediately gave up on attacking, releasing countless saber images before him to form a defense. Suddenly, the void trembled intensely, and a bell appeared out of nowhere, smashing into Long Chen. Boom. Long Chen shot down like a meteorite, smashing into the ground. He cut a ditch dozens of miles long before coming to stop. He hacked up a mouthful of blood along with broken pieces of his organs. He felt like his whole body was about to collapse, quickly healing. He looked up to see that a three-meter-tall golden bell had appeared in the air. Runes completely covered this large existence, and its golden light shone brilliantly. Its appearance caused even the void to shudder. To kill a meridian opening brat, I actually have to use our ancestral Jade Sea Gold Bell. How laughable. The patriarch stood atop the bell with a self-mocking expression. This Jade Sea Gold Bell is a treasure item left behind by my Yun family's ancestors. However, because it was injured. Its spirit has to be constantly nourished. It was in a critical period just now. Yet I had no choice but to summon it because of you. Long Chen. You've wasted tens of thousands of years of my Yun family's work. Just how should I thank you? The Yun family's patriarch stood above the bell. Staring down at Long Chen with his scarlet eyes. Looking just like a magical beast staring at its prey. How should you thank me? If you really want to. You can smash your head against that bell. Kill yourself. And then give that bell to me. Long Chen slowly stood up, putting on a new set of robes. That was because after the previous attack, the only thing remaining on Long Chen's body was some underpants. Fighting bearskin might be able to reduce air resistance, but Long Chen really wasn't accustomed to fighting like that. Give it to you? Haha, <laughs> I'll give it to you right now. The patriarch suddenly laughed crazily. It was unknown what secret technique he used, but the arm Long Chen had severed regrew, and forming a hand seal. The Jade Sea Gold Bell rumbled. The runes carved into the bell began to shine, their light merging together and turning into a ray of golden light that shot at Long Chen. That light was blinding and glaring, 
It had a diameter of 300 meters and brought with it an annihilative aura. It was incredibly fast, and its size made it so Long Chen had no chance of dodging. Long Chen blocked with his full strength, but he was still sent flying by its terrifying power. However, Long Chen hadn't just foolishly taken it head on, instead using his full strength to divert the attack slightly. As a result, he wildly vomited blood and his body almost fell apart. Wherever the light passed, the land was destroyed. An endless canyon formed in the ground. Too monstrous. There's simply no way to beat him. Long Chen sucked in a cold breath of air. It was fortunate he hadn't just taken it head on, as just the outer strength had injured him so heavily. Taking it head on would have been definite death. That Jade Sea Gold Bell's power was practically apocalyptic. Long Chen had never seen such a terrifying weapon. Time to slip away. Long Chen made the wisest decision. Such strength had already surpassed the scope of his understanding, and continuing to fight was just stupid. Activating the Netherworld Ghost Steps, he was like a phantom as he sped away. Long Chen was truly not a greedy person. He decided this battle could end like this. Even though he hadn't cut down the Yun family's patriarch, he didn't feel any regret. Once he cultivated some more, he would go find him again. You want to run? Keep dreaming. The patriarch roared and formed a hand seal. The Jade Sea Gold Bell shook and then flew toward Long Chen quickly, catching up in an instant. Under the control of the Patriarch, another ray of golden light shot out of the bell. This time, Long Chen was prepared. As soon as that golden light began to gather, he began accumulating energy. The instant the bell's aura locked him down, he slashed out his saber, breaking the lock and dodging to the side. The golden light missed and it caused the Patriarch to fly into a rage. He had no idea how Long Chen could break out of the lock of the Jade Sea Gold Bell, let alone a Meridian Opening Rookie. Even a sea expansion expert wouldn't be able to do so. The thing that made him the most furious was that the Jade Sea Gold Bell had been heavily injured after a huge battle in the past. It wasn't able to release that many attacks in its current state. At most, it would be able to release 10 more attacks before the item spirit ran out of energy and would have to enter a slumber. After tens of thousands of years of hard work from the Yun family, after exhausting endless resources, the item spirit had been extremely close to suppressing its injury. Then it would be able to absorb spiritual key to fully heal. But during that time, it couldn't be used without ruining all that work. That was why the patriarch hadn't used the bell when Yun Wusheng had still been alive. Once Yun Wusheng was killed, the Yun family's inheritance was completely severed, and the patriarch descended into madness. No longer caring about any consequences, he directly activated the Jade Sea Gold Bell. But even after three attacks, he was unable to kill Long Chen. The previous two attacks had clearly been extremely close to killing Long Chen, but he had somehow instantly healed. The Patriarch was so furious, he felt like he was going to explode. He didn't know that Long Chen was grumbling inside. Over half the life energy in the primal chaos space had been used up. Long Chen could heal only five more times. Despite having dodged this attack, he was still sent flying by the shockwave. Most sinister of all, the Yun family's patriarch had directly used a second attack. In midair, despite doing his best, Long Chen was at most able to avoid the core of the attack, but struck by the outer edge, Long Chen wildly vomited blood. This time, his injuries were even more severe. He hastily healed with the primal chaos space and rushed away. A large, black city arrived at the Yun family's ancestral land. Seeing the huge basin, Mo Yi was filled with disbelief. Grandfather, are you sure this is the Yun family's ancestral land? Asked Mo Nian. The earth is still fresh, and the aura of a battle has yet to scatter. Oh, there are fluctuations in that direction. Let's hurry. Mo Yi hastily sent the Mo Mountain Seal flying in a certain direction. Tens of thousands of miles away, they saw a scene that made their jaws drop. Long Chen was fleeing in a miserable state. While the Yun family's patriarch was standing atop the Jade Sea Gold Bell as he crazily attacked. Long Chen, is still alive. This brat's life really is hardy. Mo Nian was delighted and he loudly shouted. Long Chen, don't be afraid. Your brother has come to save you. Ten years I wandered with my bow. My arrows causing heaven and earth to shake. The nine heavens, the ten lands, and all the universe will revolve around me. Only I, Mo Nian, will Aya, before he could finish. Mo Nian was kicked to the side by Mo Yi. Mo Yi's aura completely erupted, and he formed a hand seal. Mo Mountain Heaven Collapsing Arrow. Countless runes lit up on the Mo Mountain Seal, and a huge black arrow shot straight at the Jade Sea Gold Bell. Chapter 606 Killing the Yun Family's Patriarch Translator. 
born to be the Yun family's patriarch was in the midst of chasing Long Chen. He was extremely anxious as he had already used several of his limited attacks to try and kill Long Chen. Now, he only had two more chances. If he still wasn't able to kill Long Chen, then not only would the spirit of the Jade Sea Gold Bell fall into a slumber, but he himself might also be killed by Long Chen. Just now, he had seen cracks appear on Long Chen's body, but they had miraculously healed instantly. That made him feel some terror at his power. So with these last two attacks, he had to kill Long Chen in one hit. What he didn't know was that Long Chen had already run out of energy. All the trees in the primal chaos space had withered. If he was struck once more, he would definitely die. The thing that made him the most vexed was the fact that there was endless energy within the green dragon image in his divine ring. But he was unable to use it. It was like he was a beggar that was starving to death as he sat on a mountain of gold. The Yun family's patriarch's hesitation had ended up helping Long Chen survive. Otherwise, with one more attack, Long Chen would immediately be exposed. Just as Long Chen thought he was doomed, he heard Mo Nian's grandiose chanting, and he was filled with delight. As the patriarch and Long Chen had been fleeing and chasing while calculating against the other with all their might, they had been totally oblivious to a monstrous existence approaching them. When the patriarch saw the Mo Mountain Seal, he immediately turned pale with terror. That was especially so when he saw Mo Yi forming hand seals to attack. His soul practically fled in fear, but Mo Yi's large arrow was like a god's arrow, and there was no way for him to dodge. Clenching his teeth, the patriarch slammed his hands on the Jade Sea Gold Bell, instantly activating all of its energy to form a huge shield around him. Boom. The Jade Sea Gold Bell actually broke with a single attack. The patriarch vomited blood wildly as he fell to the ground. PFFT. A blood red saber had long since been waiting for him on the ground. It pierced through his body until he landed on the hilt. Long Chen icily looked at the Yun family's patriarch. The patriarch seemed to have lost all his bones as he lay there limply. The attack from the Mo Mountain Seal had not only broken the Jade Sea Gold Bell, but it had also sent the patriarch halfway to his grave. His bones had been turned to powder, and his meridians had been broken. He was already a cripple. Long Chen, just wait, even in death. I will turn into a ghost. I won't let you off. All right, I'll wait for you. A powerful force surged through Long Chen's saber, directly turning the Yun family's patriarch into a bloody mist. Seeing that the Yun family's patriarch had been killed, all the Mo family's experts felt a chill. Just what kind of monster was Long Chen? Ha ha ha. Long Chen, you're still alive. You're lucky your brother made it on time and saved you. Hey, what's wrong? Mo Nian had rushed over immensely pleased with himself. When Long Chen suddenly sat on the ground, his face pale as paper. This is from overdrafting his strength. The burden placed on his physical body surpassed his body's limits. It's nothing too big. In fact, it's a good thing. Once he recovers, his strength will rise another level, said Mo Yi. He was filled with shock as he looked at Long Chen. Although Long Chen had put away his divine ring, the dragon image in his divine ring had still made Mo Yi feel shocked. It had made him feel a reverence that came from the depths of his soul. At the same time, he realized why the Yun family's ancestral land had been turned into an immense basin. It had all been done by Long Chen. Even with the patriarch personally taking action, they had been unable to subdue Long Chen. In fact, he had summoned the Jade Sea Gold Bell but still had allowed Long Chen to flee for tens of thousands of miles. It could be seen just how powerful Long Chen had been back then. Long Chen was definitely not human. He had to be a monster, for a single human to destroy an entire ancient family, that was definitely heaven defying. Gate Master, this is the Yun family's patriarch's spatial ring, as well as the fragments of the Jade Sea Gold Bell, an expert from the Mo family ran over and handed two rings to Mo Yi. Originally, the Jade Sea Gold Bell could not be stored in a spatial ring, but now that it had been destroyed, its fragments could be stored. Long Chen, these are your battle spoils, smiled Mo Yi handing them to Long Chen. Long Chen was supported by Mo Nian and stood up. He felt like his whole body might fall apart at any moment. He shook his head. This is all your work. Otherwise, I would have long since died. How could I want any battle spoils? How about you just give me the fragments of the Jade Sea Gold Bell? Perhaps I might have some use for them. Long Chen really was unable to accept both rings. He only took the one with the fragments. The Jade Sea Gold Bell was a treasure item. But after its destruction, along with the passing of its spirit, it's just a bunch of scrap metal. It can be remelted and refined into some precious materials, but it's pretty much useless to you. 
You don't have the ability to refine such high-grade materials. Mo Yi frowned, wanting to switch with Long Chen. It had to be known that the Yun family's patriarch was the leader of an entire ancient family. His spatial ring most likely contained almost half of the Yun family's total wealth. Don't be as unreasonable as me. Fighting over something like this is foolish. Long Chen bitterly smiled. All right, being called unreasonable by a little fellow like you really is a first for me. If this brat Mo Nian dared do so, this old man would slap him so hard into a wall that he couldn't even be extracted, said Mo Yi. Fuck, why do you have to pull me into this? Raged Mo Nian. Mo Yunchen and the others laughed. The Mo family's temperament was just like this. Come. Let's go back to the Yun family's ancestral land and see what he can dig up, said Mo Yi. Ah, uh, why bother? The people have already been killed, and the enmity has already been avenged. There's no need to rob their graves, said Long Chen. It seemed Mo Yi was even more ruthless than him. What graves? The Yun family definitely has an underground storage house. It shouldn't have been destroyed. If Mo Yi didn't see how weak Long Chen currently was, he would definitely have to give him a beating. How could he? The leader of a grand sect, possibly do something as morally wrong as robbing graves. Two hours later, they really did find a treasury beneath the Yun family's ancestral land. There were layers of restrictions that had to be removed. Ha ha ha, not bad. The resources we lost to activate the Mo Mountain Seal can all be compensated, and there should still be quite the profit afterward. When Mo Yi entered the treasury, he couldn't help but laugh. He handed this matter to Mo Yunchen and left with Long Chen not allowing anyone else to approach them. Long Chen didn't know why Mo Yi would do something so out of character. When had something so serious happened? Mo Yi and Long Chen entered Mo Gate. Mo Yi found a private room for them and then said, This time, Mo Gate will be moving locations. Do you want to come with us? Why are you moving? Long Chen was startled. Because the battle this time has revealed the existence of the Mo Mountain Seal. In truth, our Mo Gate was once an ancient family. Due to being pushed aside and entrapped by others inside the ancient family alliance, we withdrew from the alliance. But there are still people who covet our Mo Mountain Seal, and they sent those brats to test us, said Mo Yi. Hearing this, Long Chen felt incredibly apologetic. Previously, Mo Yi had already told him how he had unleashed the divine might of the Mo Mountain Seal to eradicate his enemies in the scorched earth forest. Long Chen knew it was because of him that the Mo family had exposed the existence of the Mo Mountain Seal. Child, you don't need to think too much. The Mo Mountain Seal would have been exposed sooner or later. If someone should be thanking the other, it should be my Mo family that thanks to you. Mo Nian finally found his own path. That's our Mo family's greatest gain and it's because of you. Mo Nian is the only hope of my Mo family rising. I'm planning on bringing Mo Nian back to the Mo clan's ancestral land to see if he can obtain our ancestral inheritance. If he succeeds, then in less than three years, our Mo family will properly settle our accounts with those bastards that pushed us out in the first place. We're going to immediately leave King Prefecture. So I need to know if you want to leave with us. The current you is in a dangerous position, and that's not favorable for your cultivation. Staying with us should be the smartest choice for you, said Mo Yi gravely. Right now, Long Chen was being stared at from all angles. Countless people would guess he had received a heaven-defying opportunity in the Jiuli secret realm for him to have his current power. The Yun family was a good example. They had been willing to commit all sorts of crimes to target him. This time, Long Chen had been saved by Mo Gate. But who would save him the next time? Could he live in seclusion? Long Chen bitterly smiled. He knew that Mo Yi's suggestion was the smartest choice for him. But his intuition told him he wasn't able to do that. He might be able to live in seclusion. But what about the others? He wasn't just one person. He still had that many brothers, many beauties, and now even his father, his mother, and his little sister. He couldn't leave them. Sorry, I can't leave, said Long Chen. Mo Yi sighed, seeming to have long since expected this answer. He knew Long Chen wouldn't give up those people, but he also couldn't wait while Long Chen gathered them all because the Mo Mountain Seal had already been exposed. Back when the Mo clan left the ancient family alliance, they had split into dozens of different branches. Their enemies hadn't been sure which branch had the Mo Mountain Seal. But now that it had been exposed, once their enemies received the news, they would immediately rush over. So they had to leave right now. The Mo family's enemies were so strong that they were beyond Long Chen's imagination. That was why Mo Yi had patiently waited for this day. Now that Mo Nian had begun to rise, the Mo family was not going to continue waiting. Since you don't want to leave with us, let me tell you a few things. 
Listen closely. In a bit, I will activate the Mo Mountain Seal again and smash it into the Yun family's ancestral land, leaving behind the aura of the Mo Mountain Seal. As for you, you never managed to reach this place. That teleportation talisman was too old and had become defective. Halfway through, it ejected you from the spatial channel. Do you understand? Long Chen nodded. Mo Yi was planning on bearing the consequences for the destruction of the Yun family himself. Long Chen was incredibly grateful. Good. Then let's talk about that saber you have. Are you aware that your blood red saber is also a treasure weapon and an extremely terrifying one at that? Chapter 607 Dragon Blood Body Tempering Art Translator Born to be let me see your saber, said Mo Yi. Long Chen hastily handed over blood drinker. A trace of warmth appeared in Mo Yi's eyes. This was true trust. Mo Yi gently rubbed this saber. The saber was red as blood as if it had been made out of blood. It was filled with the aura of slaughter. Mo Yi's hand suddenly trembled. A cut appeared on the finger he had used to rub the blade. He, it really is an amazing weapon. It actually refuses to allow others to touch it. Laughed Mo Yi. He handed Blood Drinker back to Long Chen. This saber spirit is still sleeping. The power it has offered you is its most instinctual power. As it's unable to connect with you, you have to think of a way to nourish it. If you can awaken the spirit one day, you'll be able to release its full power. Long Chen's heart pounded wildly as he looked at Blood Drinker. This was a gift from the barbarian race expert, but it had also been entrusted to him. He hadn't expected it to be so terrifying. Up to now, the only feeling Blood Drinker had expressed to Long Chen was an urge to slaughter. It seemed it was possible to nourish it with the blood of experts. Previously, Long Chen had felt a slight mental connection with Blood Drinker, but now it had disappeared. Could it be that after killing those sea expansion experts, Blood Drinker had reached a saturation point and needed to rest? Long Chen, you should keep the strength of this saber hidden in the future. Don't use it normally. As soon as this saber clashes with another treasure item, it will instantly expose its power. So be careful. If you don't need to use it, don't. Such a treasure would make countless people greedy. The open spear is easy to dodge, but the hidden arrow is hard to defend against. Do your best not to reveal it. Be cautious, and then be even more cautious, warned Mo Yi. Thank you for your teachings, said Long Chen. All right, time's about up. Say your goodbyes to Mo Nian. Perhaps it'll be many years before you ever see each other again. Seeing the huge city disappear into the sky, Long Chen felt a sense of loss, as well as a slight sense of helplessness. This was cultivation. This was life. Everyone had their own troubles. Even an existence as powerful as the Mo family, even with that powerful killing tool, the Mo Mountain Seal, they still had to flee miserably. It really made a person sigh with emotion. Back when he left Phoenix Cry, he had become a true cultivator. Long Chen had felt extremely satisfied with himself back then. As a blood condensation expert, he had swept through his enemies in Phoenix Cry. Just how impressive was that? But now, he had already reached Meridian Opening. As his cultivation base grew, his enemies also grew stronger. He still felt like he was not the master of his own fate. In fact, he no longer felt the slightest sense of safety. Stronger. He had to get stronger. Senior, are you still there? Once Long Chen left the Yun family's ancestral land and had traveled for a few hours, he felt it was safe enough to slow down. He yelled into his soul. I am. This time, it's all thanks to your help. You saved my family and also saved my life. No matter what you want, I definitely won't hesitate, said Long Chen. Even if I want you to exterminate heaven and earth, becoming enemies with gods, you'd still be willing. This was just a spiritual fluctuation. There was no emotion in the voice. I'd be willing. That voice was silent for a moment before saying, I've kept watch on you for a long time. Originally, your life and death had nothing to do with me. But today, you've made me feel slightly moved. You are an idiot. An idiot like you really hasn't appeared in a long time. You're an idiot who cares about emotions and relationships. So I helped you out this time. However, it comes with a price. As long as I, Long Chen, can accomplish it, I definitely won't even frown. The current you is still too weak. Much, much, too weak. Close your eyes. If I close my eyes, I'll crash into a tree. Long Chen hesitated. Can't you stop for a moment? It won't take too long. Long Chen stopped and closed his eyes. All right, now open your eyes. When Long Chen opened his eyes, he found that he was within the boundless cosmos. Endless stars twinkled around him, and he couldn't help being indescribably shocked. This is my viewpoint. Do you see that star field up ahead? 
that lump of paste with countless sesame seeds, asked Long Chen. That's where you are. You are within one of those sesame seeds. Long Chen's heart pounded fervently. The world he was in was actually so small. Just what kind of figure was the master of this voice? I'm showing you this so you know the difference between us. Your current strength is unable to help me. You have to quickly become stronger and break through the restrictions of your world. At that time, you might have the qualifications to help me. That will probably take a very long time. Long Chen gulped. How long is a very long time? Probably several decades. Or perhaps even a few centuries. What kind of joke was this? His own world was just a sesame seed. The master of this voice was definitely a terrifying existence. Thinking of how strong he'd have to become to help such an existence. Long Chen didn't have the slightest confidence. He even wanted to say that it would take him a few centuries. But he hadn't been able to say such a thing. Decades? Centuries? Those are time units of your world. Where I am. Time is measured by star cycles. The time it takes for a star to be born and then destroyed. I've been here. Watching the stars before me die. Be reborn. And then die again. For I don't even know how long. Your units mean nothing to me. Furthermore. I only helped you out randomly. I don't have any high hopes. You can just treat it as me being bored. After all. We have a destiny together. Or my reverse scale wouldn't have landed in your hands. What? This reverse scale is yours. Correct. That is the result of my first molting when I was born. Otherwise. I wouldn't be able to even sense you. Your first molting. When you were born. You are a true dragon. Long Chen's voice shuddered slightly. This world truly did possess the existence known as the true dragon. When I was born. All my scales were green. So the outer world called me a green dragon. But were only called green dragons for our childhood. So the energy you could use was merely the power I had in my childhood. But your cultivation technique is very strange. And it was actually able to fix my green dragon strength in place. It only allows you to use a portion of that energy. Perhaps it is trying to protect you. But this will not allow you to draw out more of the green dragon's power. Otherwise. Just now. You would have been able to kill your opponent instantly. However. At the same time. Your body wouldn't be able to bear that much power and would explode. Hearing that. Long Chen's heart pounded. The green dragon. Which in human terms was just a baby. Already possessed such power. Just what kind of existence was the dragon race? Long Chen was confident in his powerful physical body. But compared to dragons. He had to admit defeat Chiranjivan to a newborn. That was a great blow to his self-confidence. For you to put it like this. I really feel like I'm a piece of trash. Sighed Long Chen. Your physical body really is trash. But your cultivation technique is very special. It's actually able to keep a certain amount of control over my green dragon strength. Perhaps this is an opportunity for you to completely change your fate. There's not much time left. The energy I sent down this time is about to fade. I will transmit a cultivation technique of my dragon race to you. If you really are heaven defying enough. Perhaps you can cultivate in it. But if you aren't able to cultivate in it. Then just act as if I never appeared. Because that means you will never be able to help me. After the voice finished speaking. A large flood of information poured into Long Chen's head. Long Chen felt like his head was about to split. He collapsed on the ground. Clenching his head. The pain lasted for an incense stick's worth of time before receding. He was completely pale and covered with sweat. The pain of the soul really is indescribable. It's 10,000 times the pain of the physical body. Sighed Long Chen. He finally experienced just how painful spiritual pain was. Only after resting for a while did Long Chen flip through his memories to find a large amount of information in the form of a cultivation technique. Dragon blood body tempering art. Long Chen carefully studied it. Using dragon blood to temper the physical body was extremely dangerous. There were two requirements to train in this technique. One was that you had the essence blood of a dragon. And the other was that you had 1000 caddies of strength. The dragon race expert had told Long Chen that his reverse scale only had a single drop of essence blood for Long Chen to use. Furthermore, this essence blood contained his spiritual memory, and it wouldn't fight back when Long Chen refined it. As for the thousand caddies of strength, that meant that the physical body could endure 1000 caddies of force. This was something Long Chen had long since achieved. One caddy was 30 pounds, so 1000 caddies was just 30,000 pounds. That was too easy for Long Chen. But he kept feeling like something was wrong. If he could so easily refine the green dragon essence blood. How was it that he had been unable to use even one ten thousandth of the green dragon's strength? What the fuck? I almost got killed. 
Long Chen suddenly clapped his own leg. The cultivation technique the dragon race expert had given him had been transmitted with immortal characters, but being afraid that Long Chen wouldn't understand it all, the dragon had also added in its own notations. One of those notations said that the caddy referred to in this cultivation technique was not the current caddy, but the immortal era's caddy, and the immortal era's caddy was equivalent to 300,000 pounds. Thinking of that, Long Chen became covered in a cold sweat. 300,000 pounds a caddy. So then 1,000 caddies would be 300 million pounds. With his current strength, although he hadn't tested it, he estimated it should be around 20 million pounds. 20 million and 300 million. The difference was truly immense. If Long Chen had just foolishly absorbed the green dragon essence blood, then it would be strange if he didn't immediately explode. Such a death would really be too stupid. But today, Long Chen had seen a vaster sky for himself, and he was filled with expectations. I can only set this matter aside for now. Without stepping into the Xi'anchen realm, refining the green dragon essence blood is just impossible. I should first go see my parents. Long Chen switched directions, rushing in the direction the dragon race expert had shown him. That was where it had transported Little Snow. Chapter 608 Returning from a Long Journey Translator Born to be after rushing for over a day, Long Chen finally found the tracks that Little Snow had left behind. This was where Little Snow had been teleported. This was already extremely far from the Yun family's ancestral land. Following the tracks Little Snow had left behind for over a day, he finally arrived at a small city. Long Chen found his family in an inn. Within the entire inn, the only guests were the Long family. That was because as soon as Little Snow had come, the other guests had all fled in terror. This place was just a small city, and the population didn't exceed a hundred thousand. Even the Tendon Transformation Realm was considered extremely powerful while bone forging experts were peerless. How could they have ever seen a fifth rank magical beast? When Long Shiang Xiao had arrived on Little Snow's back, even the manager of the inn had been prepared to run. Little Snow's aura was just too terrifying. He directly told Long Shiang Xiao that he could pick whatever room he wanted. If Long Shiang Xiao hadn't comforted him, the manager would have long since fled. Seeing Long Chen had arrived, Mrs. Long immediately hugged him, sobbing. Long Shiang Xiao's eyes were also red. He had thought he would never be able to see Long Chen again. Mom, child was unfilial, implicating you. Long Chen was also choked with sobs. He had gone out to cultivate on his own, and due to that, he had implicated his parents, causing them to suffer. Foolish child, what nonsense. Come, meet your little sister. I came up with her name, Long Xiaoyu. Xiaoyu, quickly come greet your big brother. This is the big brother your mom and dad have told you about. Mrs. Long pulled the little girl over. Big brother, the little girl looked at Long Chen with her pure eyes. She was slightly afraid as well as slightly curious. She hid behind Mrs. Long's leg, caught between not daring to look at him and wanting to see him. Xiaoyu, as in the pretty daughter of a humble family? Mom, it seems you're afraid my sister will run off too, laughed Long Chen. From this name, it seemed his mother didn't hope for Xiaoyu to have any accomplishments. All she wanted was for her to peacefully live by her side, being an obedient child. But hearing this name, Long Chen remembered another figure who was only slightly bigger than Xiaoyu. It seemed she had also said her name, and it was very similar, but he had forgotten what it was exactly. Come, Xiaoyu, do you want a hug from your big brother? Long Chen kneeled down and clapped his hands, smiling. Mommy, I'm afraid. The little girl continued to hide behind Mrs. Long shyly. Foolish girl, that's your big brother. Did you forget how he has saved us? Mrs. Long looked at Xiaoyu tenderly rubbing her small head, but, he's different from the paintings you showed me, he's a bit, savage, whispered Xiaoyu into Mrs. Long's ears, hearing this, the three of them immediately laughed, but Long Chen's laughter was a bit self-mocking, he knew what paintings Xiaoyu was talking about, that was the comic that had been extremely popular back in Phoenix Cry, at that time, Long Chen had truly just been a youth, now, over two years had passed, and he had already grown up, not only had his face become more steadfast, but due to the struggles on the cultivation path, he had also slaughtered countless people. That murderous aura in his bones was hard to conceal. Although Long Chen had already withdrawn that aura, Xiaoyu was a child and was exceptionally sensitive to that kind of aura. She naturally felt he was scary. Seeing that Xiaoyu refused to get closer, Long Chen simply smiled and told Mrs. Long to do her best to coax her. 
Long Chen went into another room and gave Long Xiang Xiao a medicinal pill to regrow his limbs. In just an incense stick's worth of time, he was fully healed Chen Er. You've had it hard in the outside world. Long Xiang Xiao patted Long Chen on the shoulder, sighing. Although Long Chen was now the same height as Long Xiang Xiao, in Long Xiang Xiao's eyes, Long Chen would forever be that small child. Seeing Long Chen's steadfast face, Long Xiang Xiao felt a sour feeling. The only one who knew how much Long Chen had suffered was himself. Long Chen forced back his tears, smiling. Dad, your child doesn't have it hard. The outside world is very brilliant. I have many great beauties and many hot-blooded brothers. Long Chen told his father about his experiences. However, he only mentioned the good parts. The sadness, the powerlessness he felt, those portions he omitted. Chen Er, your decision today makes me both happy and troubled. I'm happy that even after all those trials and hardships, you still managed to retain your original heart. But I'm also troubled, because even after experiencing that much slaughter, you still haven't been able to make your heart vicious and ruthless. I'm afraid that the same thing will happen again in front of you, and at that time, perhaps you really will fall, sighed Long Xiang Xiao. Long Chen cared too deeply about the people close to him. That was something gratifying, but such a person would suffer far too much in the outside world. Dad, don't worry, I definitely won't fall into this kind of trap again, promised Long Chen. Your mother and I are not going back to Phoenix Cry. We'll find a small village for ourselves to live in peacefully. These years, all I've done is battle and fight, but that never managed to bring anything back for us. This time, it seems I've gained a flash of insight. I want to try being an ordinary person. Hunting, farming, resting when the sun's down, working when the sun's up, living carefree and unrestrained. Long Xiang Xiao smiled. Dad, Chen Er, don't feel bad. You should feel excited for your dad. I really did gain a flash of insight. Living in itself is also a kind of cultivation. Some people care so much about the result, that they've forgotten that sometimes the journey of cultivation is even more important than the result. When I was young, I only wanted to get stronger. I cared too much about the result. Now I realize, the result is unknown, but the journey is within my control. I won't care about the result for now. What I want to do is allow my journey to become even more brilliant. When you were young, I didn't accompany you while you grew up. That is my greatest regret. Now the heavens have given me another chance. Sending Xiaoyu to my side. I'll properly cherish this chance. I'll stay by her side as she grows up. Chen Er, there's a certain phrase that's well said. The horse dislikes the narrow path, and the great pen hates the heavens for being too low. Your world will be even wider, even higher. Don't let your Dao heart be disturbed because of us. Each person has their own goals. You should be happy for us, because we've finally found our own goal, said Long Xiang Xiao. He patted Long Chen on the shoulder. Long Chen looked at his father. His father's eyes were completely calm without the slightest reluctance. Yes, Dad. All right. Go play with your sister now. You're her idol, and she always talks about you. But, she doesn't like me. Ha ha ha. Their family peacefully passed three days together. During these three days, Long Chen accompanied his sister with Little Snow. Long Xiaoyu liked Little Snow especially and wasn't the slightest bit afraid of him. In fact, she would even sleep on his back when she was tired. Long Chen leaned against Little Snow, rubbing his head. He was filled with peace. In truth, happiness was very simple. Why did people have to fight to the point of you die or I die? In this calm town, Long Chen felt a peace he had never felt before. It was like he had left the endless struggles of the world. But he knew this peace was just temporary. He still had to return into a bloody current and continue his life. That was because if he didn't struggle, he wouldn't be able to learn about his origins. He might be able to avoid this struggle, but that would be too cruel to his biological parents. The violet jade pendant appeared in his hand again, rubbing the words on it. He couldn't help but feel pain inside. He didn't know when he would finally be able to see his biological parents. Were they still alive? Big brother, are you going to leave us? At some unknown point, Xiaoyu had woken up. She was staring at Long Chen with her large eyes. I, I know Big Brother is a big hero who will save the world by fighting off those evil demons. Once you defaturing those demons, you'll definitely come back to see me, said Xiaoyu excitedly. What? Who told you this? Asked Long Chen. Mom said it, and Daddy also said this. That's right, Big Brother. Why do you call daddy father or dad? Xiaoyu changed topics so quickly that Long Chen was almost unable to keep up. When I was young, I also called him daddy. But later, 
I called him father, because your brother grew up, and calling him that was no longer appropriate. Long Chen remembered when he was as small as Xiaoyu. He had also followed his father around all day, calling him daddy over and over again. But later, his father had left, and that appellation became foreign. Then I won't grow up. I want to forever call him daddy, and daddy will also always love me. Big brother. Kiss. Xiaoyu suddenly wrapped her arms around Long Chen's neck and gave him a kiss on the cheek. Now, Xiaoyu was much closer to Long Chen, and she no longer felt her previous shyness or fright. Instead, she had now become closest to Long Chen, even forgetting about her father and mother. Big brother, let me tell you a secret. I actually dislike kissing daddy. Oh? Why? Because daddy's beard is too prickly. Even if he shaves, it grows back so fast, and it's so painful whispered Xiaoyu. Cough. Xiaoyu. Talking about people behind their backs is bad. At some unknown point, Long Xiangxiao had appeared behind the two of them, just in time to hear her final words. Daddy. Hug. Xiaoyu extended her arms. Long Xiangxiao's scolding expression immediately became something caught between laughter and tears, and he lifted her into the air. This move of hers was definitely 100% effective. All right, let's go eat. Mrs. Long's voice rang out from the room. Their family sat around a square table. Although they were just eating ordinary vegetables and tofu, this ordinary meal was extremely joyful. Long Chen stayed here for a full week. But on the eighth day, he finally left. He left in the middle of the night, afraid to endure any tearful goodbyes. Long Xiangxiao had also said that once Long Chen left, they would also leave and find a quiet, isolated place to live ordinary lives. Finding a comparatively large city, he paid a fee and stepped onto a transportation formation going directly toward the Zhuanshan Super Monastery. Brothers, I, Long Chen, am coming back. Chapter 609 Aftermath Translator Born to be King's Hao City's Mo family had disappeared, leaving behind only a huge hole. This ruler, which had dominated King Prefecture for countless years, had vanished into thin air. Furthermore, there was a deep abyss in front of the scorched earth forest. The souls of countless experts were buried within that abyss. Even 2C expansion experts had died there. All of this caused huge waves in King Prefecture. No one knew what they should do now. Originally, everyone had been waiting for news. But even after three days, the Mo family still hadn't returned. After seven days, a shocking piece of news arrived. The Yun family's ancestral land had been completely razed, and all their people had been killed. That news didn't just shake King Prefecture. Even the surrounding prefectures became chaotic. An enormous existence with an inheritance stretching back countless years had been exterminated just like that? Just as people were debating the veracity of this news, an enormous carriage appeared in the air above King's House City. This carriage was pulled by four celestial horses. Celestial horses were legendary magical beasts that reached the Xi'anshan realm when they matured. Their flying speed was incredibly fast and this was the first time the people of King's House City had seen such magical beasts. These four 300-meter horses released a terrifying pressure, and when their wings flapped, all of heaven and earth rumbled. The cultivators in the city were all pale, not daring to move. A group of people came down from the carriage. They examined the scorched earth desert as well as the Mo family's old territory and then returned to the carriage, flying in the direction of the Yun family. Once they left, People had only just had a chance to sigh with relief when the void trembled, and a huge eagle appeared. Its wingspan was over a mile long, and it was truly capable of shrouding the sun. It circled around King's House City once and then just left. No one even got a chance to see who was standing on the eagle's back. More and more experts came to King's House City one after another. It was unknown what cultivation base those people had, but they all had flying Xi'anshan magical beasts that shocked the city's cultivators. However, these people had no interest in King Prefecture. After looking over the battlefield, they directly left in the direction of the Yun family. Long Chen was riding on Little Snow's back. They were galloping as fast as lightning across the land. Sitting in transportation formations would have saved them two days of time. But Little Snow had stayed in the spiritual space for too long. This time, Little Snow was incomparably excited. Although Little Snow had never complained, Long Chen felt deeply ashamed. Little Snow was his companion, not his tool. He needed his own freedom. Long Chen had been too selfish. So this time, Long Chen was willing to sacrifice these two days for Little Snow to race around as much as he pleased and release some of his emotions. Little Snow was currently at the late fifth rank. His speed was truly shocking. 
The sound of space being ripped apart rang out wherever he went. Even Long Chen felt pleasure in this high-speed run, and his mood improved a great deal. They ran into two powerful Xi'anchen magical beasts on their way, but Long Chen didn't even need to raise a finger. Little Snow spat out a single wind blade to kill each one of those mid Xi'anchen magical beasts. Those instant kills filled Long Chen with pride. Little Snow's strength had already surpassed the scope of the magical beast world. He had originally just been a third rank magical beast but had broken through to the fifth rank and was even able to instantly kill across his realm. This was the terror of mutated magical beasts. But Long Chen was also extremely worried. Men Qi had told him that mutated magical beasts were not allowed by the heavenly deos. Little Snow would find it more and more difficult as he advanced. If Little Snow's cultivation base simply stopped at the fifth rank, there would be no danger. But Little Snow's cultivation speed didn't show the slightest sign of slowing down even after reaching the fifth rank. In fact, it seemed to be quickening. The sixth rank was equivalent to the human Xi'anchen realm. That was one of the large barriers. It was also one of the major barriers that existed after every three realms within the martial path. Key condensation, blood condensation, and then tendon transformation were the first three. Tendon transformation was a large barrier and very difficult to reach. But once you reached it, your strength would explosively grow. That was also why Long Chen had been able to dominate blood condensation experts back in Phoenix Cry. But when he had fought the tendon transformation Marquis Yun for the first time, he had been forced to miserably flee. In the same way, of bone forging, meridian opening, and Xi'anshan, the Xi'anshan realm was a major barrier and extremely so. This was the most important process for transforming from Haoshan to Xi'anshan. There was a qualitative difference. Most importantly, no matter who it was, no matter how untalented they were, they would have to undergo the baptism of heavenly tribulation. As a mutated magical beast, the heavens had sent down tribulation for Little Snow even when he had only advanced to the fifth rank. Although that heavenly tribulation hadn't been as terrifying as Long Chen's, the destructive aura had clearly been trying to kill him. It was no baptism. Once Little Snow reached the sixth rank, his heavenly tribulation would definitely be incredibly terrifying. Little Snow's strength lay in his offense, not his defense. If it hadn't been for Long Chen, Little Snow would have already died to his last heavenly tribulation. Furthermore, Long Chen had no confidence in being able to block Little Snow's tribulation. That was why he had Little Snow suppress his cultivation base. However, that hadn't been the slightest bit effective. No matter how they tried, Little Snow's cultivation base refused to be suppressed. In just a few months, Little Snow would reach the Xi'anshan realm. No matter what, I will be there to help you block it. Riding on Little Snow's back. Looking at the scenery flying by them, Long Chen was suddenly filled with a grand feeling. Wasn't it just heavenly tribulation? If the two of them were both expelled by the heavenly deos, then they would properly play with these damn heavens. Along with Mo Nian, Mu Zhu and the others had also gone. They were forcibly taken away by Mo Yi. One reason was for their benefit, and the other reason was for Long Chen's benefit. He didn't want to see them being used against him again. Mo Yi promised that he would release Mu Zhu and the others after three years. Mo Gate would groom them with its full strength. That was definitely thousands of times better than being mercenaries. Although he expressed his good intentions, Mo Yi had also expressed that Mu Zhu had no choice. Whether or not she agreed, she had to do this. It was a good thing Mu Zhu was also an extremely reasonable person. She empathized with Mo Yi and Long Chen's plights, and she expressed that she was extremely excited to receive such a great opportunity. But Long Chen knew she didn't care about this grooming. Otherwise, with Mu Zhu's talent, she could join any sect and receive much better grooming than as a mercenary. The Mu Xu mercenary unit cared more about their freedom than anything else. Mu Zhu's happy and excited act was just to comfort Long Chen. Long Chen had no choice but to sigh. People were really unable to act as they pleased. Sometimes having emotions caused more pain than being emotionless. Sometimes, being emotionless allowed a person to be much more carefree. Finally, Long Chen saw distant mountains with mist surrounding them. He had arrived at the Zhuanchen Super Monastery. Who's there? Stop. This place is Elder Long Chen. The dozen disciples guarding the entrance had just been about to interrogate Long Chen when they recognized him. Greetings, Elder Long Chen. The disciples all hastily bowed, filled with reverence and worship. Three days ago, the monastery head had gathered everyone and shown them a certain scene. There were two parts. The first part was the battle where Long Chen had killed Yun Wusheng's clone. 
and the second part was where Long Chen had defeated Yun Wusheng's true body. Seeing how powerful Long Chen was, all the disciples and elders had felt their blood boiling. At the same time, they also felt a great deal of glory. Being a member of the Zhuangchen Super Monastery just like Long Chen made them feel extremely proud. For an ordinary cultivator to defeat Chiringa Celestial of the same realm, just how shocking was that? Elder Long Chen, you're still alive. Great. Back when Long Chen had been forcibly teleported by the Yun family's expert, there were only a few people who thought Long Chen would be able to escape alive. Later, when news that the Yun family had been destroyed spread, many guessed that Long Chen had already died, which was why Mo Gate had released their fury on the Yun family. Now seeing Long Chen alive in front of them, these disciples were incredibly moved. One of the disciples hastily raised a hammer and smashed it into the bell by his side. The sound of the bell rang throughout the entire super monastery. Are you crazy? That's the alarm bell. I'm not an attacker. Long Chen jumped in fright. Had he somehow become an enemy of the super monastery? Fuck. I hit the wrong one. That disciple was filled with regret. There were two bells. Their sounds were completely different. One was used for receiving important guests, alerting the super monastery's experts to come out and greet them for courtesy. But the other was the alarm bell. That bell was already slightly rusted because it seemed this bell had never been rung up until now. Seeing that Long Chen had returned, that disciple had been incredibly excited, and this huge of a matter was something he had to alert the whole super monastery about, that would lift the entire mood of the super monastery. As a result though, he had mixed up the positions of the two bells, directly ringing the alarm bell. Now, the entire super monastery was thrown into chaos, the void trembled, and countless runes appeared in the sky. A translucent barrier appeared over the entire super monastery. Long Chen also heard countless startled cries, as experts surged out in a huge army. Who dares barge into my Zhuangchen super monastery? A cold cry rang out. Long Chen helplessly sighed as he recognized that to be Xu Wuhan's voice. I'm doomed. Absolutely doomed. I'm going to be expelled from the super monastery. The disciple that had rung the bell almost cried. He had truly caused a huge disaster. Even the grand formation had been activated that cost an ocean's worth of spirit stones. Thinking of that, he had an urge to just directly kill himself. As for the other disciples, they were also ashen. Considering this gross error, it would not be odd for them to be expelled as well. Long Chen, you're still alive. Xu Wuhan appeared in the sky with her wings. When she saw Long Chen, even with her calm nature, her voice quivered slightly. Chapter 610 Emotionally Moved Translator Born to be seeing that familiar figure. The entire super monastery was startled. That person had actually returned alive. Long Chen. A burst of fragrance blew over as a figure threw herself into Long Chen's embrace. Sobbing. A pair of fists beat his back. You scoundrel. We all thought. You. Tang Wan'er was constantly sobbing. Not even able to form her words. She just tightly embraced Long Chen as if she was afraid he would run off as soon as she let go. Seeing Tang Wan'er cry in his embrace. Long Chen felt a burst of pain in his heart. Although Tang Wan'er was normally fierce, her emotions toward him were completely sincere. You thought I had died? Didn't I already say I would become a completely new and improved scoundrel? A scoundrel like me won't die. Long Chen laughed. You scoundrel. You damn scoundrel. You're laughing. You just don't know. When we heard you were teleported to the Yun family, we felt like the sky was collapsing. The Zhuangchen Super Monastery had first received the photographic jade of Long Chen killing Yun Wusheng's clone. Only later did they receive the photographic jade of Long Chen fighting Yun Wusheng's true body, and only then did they learn that Long Chen had been teleported to the Yun family's ancestral land. For this matter, Xu Wuhan had immediately rushed over to the Yun family's ancestral land, but at that time, it had already been completely destroyed. Back then, there had also been countless other experts examining the remains. Their deduction was that Long Chen had been killed by the Yun family, and the Mo family had come too late. That was why they had furiously destroyed the Yun family despite the consequences. Exterminating an ancient family came with grievous consequences. The Mo family had provoked a disaster for themselves. They had hastily fled, not daring to show their tales. This conclusion was extremely reasonable. If Long Chen had still been alive at that time, then no matter how stupid the Yun family was, they wouldn't have fought to the end under the threat of the Mo Mountain Seal. They would have simply handed Long Chen over and then the Mo family wouldn't have destroyed the Yun family. That was because once the Yun family was destroyed, Mo Gate would no longer have a place to call home. 
Exterminating an ancient family would bring on the wrath of the ancient family alliance. No matter how powerful the Mo family was, they wouldn't be able to defend against such a powerful existence. They could only run. Considering the consequences of destroying an ancient family, if Long Chen had been alive, how could the Mo family do something so crazy without care for the consequences? So Xu Wuhan's heart had immediately sunk. When she had returned to the super monastery, she hadn't said a single word to the Dragonblood Legion, but just from her face, all their hearts had turned cold. It was just as Tang Wan'er said, the sky really was falling. During the past few days, Tang Wan'er and Meng Qi had been crying the entire time. They were unable to accept this result. Now that Long Chen had returned, Tang Wan'er could only grab onto him and sob. Long Chen, I'm glad you could return really, really glad. Meng Qi also appeared in front of Long Chen. However, her fairy-like face was covered with tears, and her voice was also choked with sobs. Sorry, I've caused you to worry. Long Chen reached out a hand and pulled Meng Qi into his embrace as well. Holding two tear-stained beauties in his embrace, smelling their fragrance, feeling their bodies quivering against his, Long Chen was filled with regret. All right, there are too many people, and it's not appropriate. Let's wait until there's no one around before we get affectionate. Long Chen leaned down and whispered into their ears with a voice only they could hear. Men Qi immediately turned red and escaped from Long Chen's embrace. As for Tang Wan'er, she immediately turned hostile, giving Long Chen a kick. Haha, <laughs> no way. You really turn hostile faster than the flipping of a page. Long Chen laughed, dodging Tang Wan'er's kick. Seeing Long Chen teasing the two women, Zhao King Gai's expression was cold. She hadn't expected Long Chen to actually survive. Long Chen, what a hardy life you have. Congratulations, congratulations. Zhao King Gai's facial muscles didn't twitch, and her voice was full of hostility. Long Chen turned to her and indifferently said, Sorry I disappointed you. In this world, good people don't die easily, and bad people don't die easily either. Only those people who like to play with schemes and stab other people in the back are easily done for. Assistant Monastery heads how? Let me bless you with a long life. I'm sure you'll have a lifespan of a hundred years. Zhao King Gai's expression sank. She had long since surpassed a hundred years of age. Saying she would have a lifespan of a hundred years was cursing her to have already died. Assistant Monastery heads how? I'm sure you'll have a lifespan of a hundred years. At this moment, Guo Ran, Gu Yang, Song Mingguan, Yu Zifeng, and Li Qi joined in. Zhao King Gai turned ashen. Xu Wuhan's expression was calm but she was incredibly refreshed inside. Long Chen's return caused the entire super monastery to become excited. All the disciples treated Long Chen as an idol. For Zhao King Gai to provoke Long Chen now, she really had been looking to be crapped on. All right, to celebrate Long Chen's escape from calamity, the super monastery will hold a three-day feast. As for the matter of you ringing the wrong bell, I'll wave it off. But if you do it again, you'll immediately be expelled from the super monastery. Everyone can disperse. After saying that, Xu Wuhan ordered the Grand Formation be taken down, and then left just like that. The disciples guarding the entrance went wild with joy. Their huge error had actually been forgiven so easily. Zhao King Gai's expression was dark, and it was unknown what she was thinking, but she also left. The Dragonblood warriors surged forward. All right, this isn't the place to talk. Let's go back. Men Qi and Tang Wan'er held Long Chen's arms, with the Dragonblood warriors following behind them. In front of countless people's fervent gazes, they returned to the Dragonblood Legion's encampment. This was a private territory the Super Monastery had given to the first monastery, that was all set up by Xu Wuhan. For the Dragonblood Legion's protection, she had set up a private space where outsiders were not allowed to disturb them. From Tang Wan'er, Long Chen learned that after Long Chen had led Yun Wusheng away, they had been sneak attacked several times by the corrupt path on their journey. However, those attacks hadn't been very powerful. The Dragonblood Legion had slaughtered out a path for everyone to return to the Super Monastery. Only a few disciples died beneath the blades of the Corrupt Path. The Corrupt Path's sudden attack this time had truly been large in scope. Over ten of the monasteries around the First Monastery had been completely destroyed. Furthermore, the path the First Monastery's disciples had fled seemed to have been in the Corrupt Path's calculations, as they had run into several ambushes. Where's Elder Tu Fang? asked Long Chen. Everyone became silent, a mournful expression appearing on their faces. Long Chen's heart sank. Elder Tu Fang had actually fallen. Although Elder Tu Fang's cultivation base hadn't been high, he had been an incredibly righteous person. He was completely impartial. 
and he had won the respect of all the disciples. His death filled their hearts with grief. Their sect leader Ling Yanzi had left. Elder Tu Fang had died. They had only been in the first monastery for a flash before it was destroyed. That kind of feeling was truly uncomfortable. Senior apprentice brother Long, the monastery head wants to see you. A disciple suddenly ran over with a report. Long Chen had everyone rest for now, and he left by himself to Xu Wuhan's room. As soon as he entered, Xu Wuhan grabbed his collar. You little brat, I really should give you a beating. Xu Wuhan glared ferociously at Long Chen. But after saying that, her heart softened and she rebuked. Do you know just how the past few days have felt for us? He, junior brother was wrong to make big sister worry, seeing a grand sect leader talk like this to him. Long Chen truly felt like Xu Wuhan treated him as a brother. His heart warmed and he hastily smiled. He, you're still laughing? If you had agreed to join the super monastery back then, wouldn't you have been able to avoid all of this? Now, not only did you almost lose your life, but you've also implicated the Mo family. You, Sai, just what am I supposed to say to you? You really are a troublemaker, sighed Xu Wuhan. Long Chen couldn't help but feel a bit helpless. The Mo family had had to leave. Mo Yi had already said that even if it hadn't been for the Lin and Yun families, they would still have left in the near future. Ever since Mo Nian had merged with those heavenly Dao seeds and become a celestial, they had been planning on bringing Mo Nian away to their ancestral land and making Mo Nian continue their inheritance. That inheritance was something only a celestial had the qualifications to receive. And Mo Nian was not an ordinary celestial. He had merged with two heavenly Dao seeds, which had caused a mutation. The Mo family had already been getting impatient. Long Chen's matter had just been an opportunity for them. Before the Mo family left, they had wanted to go out with a bang. Otherwise, that wouldn't be in accordance with Mo Yi's style. But Long Chen could only keep quiet about that information. So in front of Xu Wuhan's rebukes, Long Chen could only smile, causing her to have an urge to rage. Speak. What exactly happened? How did you escape the Yun family? Did the Mo family save you? Asked Xu Wuhan. When did I go to the Yun family? I was wrapped around by some mysterious energy, and then there was a sudden spatial fluctuation which teleported me up in the sky. When I fell on the ground, I almost turned into a pancake. I had to spend several days recuperating, and then when I went to a nearby city, I heard that the Yun family had been destroyed. I hesitated for a while and then decided it was best to first return to the super monastery. The outside world is too dangerous, so this loafer has finally returned. Long Chen laughed. Hearing this, Xu Wuhan couldn't help but sigh. If it's as you say, then there won't be any problems, and I'm much more relieved. Otherwise, I would have had to send you away. What? Why? You really need to ask. Do you not realize how much trouble you caused this time? An ancient family's destruction will involve the ancient family alliance. If they investigate, this matter will become much more serious. Why do you think Mo Gate had to flee? If you were saved by Mo Gate, then the ancient family alliance would place their sights on you and force you to tell them Mo Gate's whereabouts. That was the most thorny problem, sighed Xu Wuhan. In any case, just remember, no matter how they ask you, you know nothing about Mo Gate's current situation. Understand? Yes. Novaloon.com good. Then you can go rest. Go comfort those two little beauties of yours. They cried so much these past few days that even my heart broke. If the little beauties need comforting, then does the big beauty also need it? You little rascal. You dare tease me like this? You must be looking for a beating. No. But don't you think putting it like this makes you seem much younger? Long Chen laughed. And as a result, he was directly thrown out of Xu Wuhan's room. Chapter 611 Heavenly Dao Fruit Translator Born to be when Long Chen returned to his residence, he saw that Men Qi and Tang Wan'er were in his courtyard, leaning against little snow and quietly muttering. He didn't know what they were saying but the two of them were smiling beautifully. The courtyard was quiet, and the two of them were more beautiful than flowers. Long Chen leaned against the entrance, watching as the two of them talked and laughed. Occasionally, their bell-like laughter would ring out. He felt intoxicated. Long Chen, what are you just standing there for? You look like a thief. Tang Wan'er and Men Qi suddenly noticed Long Chen, beautiful as jade, like a scene from a painting, as if made by the heavens, a perfect harmony. I really was unable to disturb it. Long Chen laughed. It'd be strange if anyone believed you. Speak. Just how many women did you play around with this time? Tang Wan'er glared at Long Chen. Slander. A completely unjust accusation. There was definitely nothing like that. 
Long Chen raised his hands as if crying injustice at the heavens. Ao Wu, hear that? Little Snow says he will testify for me. Long Chen laughed. Wu Wu, Men Qi suddenly laughed. Little Snow says that Long Chen ended up running into someone called Mu Zhu. Just who is this Mu Zhu? Long Chen's face darkened. Little Snow had actually betrayed him at this critical time to side with Men Qi. Hurry up and speak. Don't try acting taciturn while you come up with a lie. Tang Wan'er glared at Long Chen, seeming like she would cruelly torture him for the answers. Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Of Men Qi and Tang Wan'er, one was gentle and soft, while the other was fiery and explosive. When the two were combined, it was truly like he was under interrogation. Long Chen sat down with the two of them. He told them everything that had occurred once he had left the monastery, except for the matter with the dragon expert's help and the real reason for the Mo family leaving. It was naturally better for as few people as possible to know about those things. Having that burden rest on his shoulders was enough. Who asked men not to let their women worry so much? That Yun family really was hateful. They actually kidnapped uncle and aunt. They deserved to be destroyed. Tang Wan'er clenched her teeth. The fact that uncle and aunt are living in seclusion and having a peaceful life isn't necessarily a bad thing. Comforted Men Qi. Sorry, I've caused you two to worry. Long Chen couldn't help but feel sorry toward the two of them. Long Chen. Men Qi and Tang Wan'er gently leaned against Long Chen. Smelling his familiar scent. They felt extremely warm inside. Filled with peace and joy. That's right. I almost forgot to tell you this. Sister Chu Yao has left the Skywood Palace, said Tang Wan'er. Where did she go? Half a month ago, Sister Chu Yao stepped into the Xi'anshan realm. She actually awakened a manifestation, becoming a powerful celestial. The Skywood Divine Palace sent someone to bring her back to the Skywood Sacred Land. Apparently, that's very, very far from here. So Sister Chu Yao wanted to see you before leaving. But at the time, you were with the Mo family in King Prefecture. This matter came so suddenly, that as a result, Sister Chu Yao could only leave, thinking of Chu Yao's sad and disappointed expression as she had left. Tang Wan'er's eyes reddened and she almost cried. This is what Sister Chu Yao left for you. Men Qi handed a scroll to Long Chen. Long Chen opened the scroll. There was a painting on it. That painting depicted a martial stage with a youth fighting a human-shaped monster with long fur all over its body. Seeing that scene. Long Chen immediately recalled his fierce battle with Wang Chen back in the Phoenix Cry Lantern Festival. At that time, Wang Chen had used Beast Transformation to turn into this form. His own appearance had been slightly immature. However, his eyes contained endless rage. The drawing itself was just average, but the drawing of him was remarkably lifelike and perfect. On one side of the painting was a line of graceful characters. The dragon swims across the four oceans. The phoenix flies throughout the nine lands. Seas of blood may block us, but we will never give up our path. Dragon and Phoenix will both live to old age. This was their promise to each other. At that time, they had been insignificant figures, but even in the face of irresistible power, they still hadn't retreated. They had both expressed their true thoughts. Seas of blood may block us, but we will never give up our path. Dragon and Phoenix will both live to old age. For me, Yaoer, you're willing to be bathed in blood? Why bother? Long Chen looked up at the sky. Sadness flashing in his eyes. Chu Yao had a quiet, peaceful temperament. She didn't like fighting. But in order to help him, in order to protect him, she had chosen the path of an expert. That was an endlessly bloody path. But she had stepped onto it without looking back. Cultivation was a path of no return. Once you stepped on it, there was no chance to step off. Even if Long Chen gave up on cultivation right now, it would have no meaning at all. There were still countless enemies that would come find him. Giving up his cultivation was just crippling his martial might, allowing the heavens to decide his fate. Then his ending would be incomparably cruel. Chu Yao had also realized the cruelty of cultivation, and she had firmly chosen to become stronger. But the fact that she hadn't managed to see Long Chen before leaving was her greatest regret. Thinking of Chu Yao standing alone as she looked in the direction of King Prefecture, Long Chen felt like needles were stabbing his heart. Long Chen, don't think too much about this. Once a person steps on the path of cultivation, there's no looking back. We all have to get stronger. Once we stand at the peak of the martial path, our fates will be in our own hands. Seeing the pain in Long Chen's expression, Men Qi couldn't hold back from comforting him. That's right. We all have to work hard at our cultivation. Sister Chu Yao is waiting for us. And maybe Sister Zhikyu has also revived. We'll all get stronger and meet again one day, said Tang Wan'er. 
Thinking of Ye's Hikyu, a sad but beautiful scene resurfaced in Long Chen's mind. Ye's Hikyu's icy goddess-like face's first smile had been like a blooming ice lotus, beautiful but poignant to the peak. Long Chen, don't cry. A hero capable of supporting heaven and earth shouldn't cry for a woman. I don't want you to be laughed at by others. I really was very happy those days when I accompanied you. The only regretful thing is that those days were just temporary. I won't get to see you standing at the peak of the world. Long Chen, didn't you always want to see me smile? Then I can let you see it one time. Ye's Hikyu's voice once more resounded in his mind. It felt like it had been a lifetime ago. Thinking of how Ye's Hikyu might be revived, Long Chen was filled with a lofty ideal. He wouldn't allow a repeat of that tragedy. He would get stronger and trample all his enemies beneath his feet. After coming in contact with that dragon expert, after seeing that scene up in the void, Long Chen felt himself to be incredibly minuscule. The first thing he had to do was to get stronger. Men Qi, Wan Er, do you want to become a celestial? Long Chen suddenly asked out of nowhere. What? Men Qi and Tang Wan Er thought their ears had broken. I should have the ability to turn one of you into a celestial. So decide which of you wants to try it. Long Chen was extremely confident. On his way back here, he had noticed a strange discovery that had almost made him go crazy. On the way, he had killed two Xianchen magical beasts and thrown their corpses into the black soil, turning them into life energy. Those withered trees had slowly revived, but the strength of two magical beasts was still just a drop in the ocean. The trees had only recovered the slightest vitality. In order to fully recover, it would require quite some time. Long Chen noticed that all the huge trees had died, but there was one tree that was still flourishing without the slightest sign of withering. That small tree's leaves all contained a faint rune, but each rune was incomparably clear and released a powerful fluctuation. The thing that filled Long Chen with disbelief was that at some point, this small tree had borne a fruit. That fruit was only the size of a fist, and it was covered with runes that emitted powerful fluctuations. Seeing those runes, Long Chen had almost cried out. Those runes were the same runes Yun Wusheng had summoned with his manifestation. Even the fluctuations were similar. However, this fruit's energy was powerful, but it wasn't berserk. Long Chen had directly plucked it and swallowed it. He found that it had a heavenly Dao seed inside it, just like the Dao seeds in Mogate. But Long Chen was depressed to find that no matter how he tried to absorb it, it refused to merge with him. In the end, the primal chaos beat had directly taken back the Dao seed and thrown it into the black soil again. That small tree once more bore a fruit, one exactly the same as the one Long Chen had swallowed. Seeing this situation, Long Chen knew that the primal chaos beat had to have absorbed Yun Wusheng's core runes when he had killed him in order to form this Dao rune fruit. Furthermore, this Dao rune fruit had no will that was fighting him. Long Chen didn't know why he was unable to absorb it, but just because he wasn't able to absorb it didn't mean others couldn't. So Long Chen had an extremely brazen idea. In the future, each time he killed a celestial, wouldn't he also gain a Dao rune fruit? And then wouldn't there be another celestial by his side? Just what would an army of over 300 celestials look like? Thinking of that, Long Chen felt like he might go crazy. It didn't seem all too impossible. The theory was solid. Give it to one or I'm a soul cultivator, and it seems the power of a celestial isn't able to help me much. But one or is a wind cultivator, and if she becomes a celestial, her wind blades will reach a terrifying level, said Men Qi. Sister Men Qi, Tang Wan Er was about to decline. Men Qi's right. Wan Er, your temperament is very explosive. Perhaps becoming a celestial can mellow you out a bit. You truly are in need of it, said Long Chen. Bastard, if you don't anger me for a day, will you feel unwell? Raged Tang Wan Er. Come, be my experimental guinea pig. There's no need to say so much. Let's go somewhere secluded to do some exciting stuff. Men Qi couldn't help but smile strangely as she watched these two clowns enter a private room. Chapter 612 Secret Weapon Translator Born to be what Men Qi didn't expect was that Long Chen already came out just an incense stick's worth of time later. You're done this quickly, she asked. Men Qi, if you put it like that, I'll be very hurt, said Long Chen. Men Qi was at first confused, but then seeing the teasing in Long Chen's eyes, she immediately turned red, rebuking, all day. Your head is just full of indecent thoughts. Long Chen knew Men Qi's temperament was more gentle and not like Tang Wan Er. These kinds of jokes weren't suitable for her. So he laughed. That's just because I found that I was worried for nothing. There wasn't the slightest difficulty. Wan Er is in the process of refining the Dao rune fruit. Although it's slow, there's not the slightest bit of danger. 
Long Chen had been standing by Tang Wan'er's side when she had consumed the Dao Rune fruit. But he found that the fruit didn't have the slightest resistance and simply allowed Tang Wan'er to absorb it. However, the amount of energy in it was too great, and Tang Wan'er needed a bit of time. Long Chen had gotten impatient and come out on his own. From this experiment with Tang Wan'er, Long Chen's confidence rose even higher. It seemed his crazy thoughts were actually realizable. Of course, the precondition was that he managed to kill that many celestials. However, celestials were rare. The majority of them were hidden by their sects. Someone like Yun Wusheng who roved around was not at all common. The reason Yun Wusheng could be so rampant was because he had his background as a member of an ancient family as a deterrence, as well as the fact that it was just his clone. After all, if he only relied on his true body's cultivation and didn't have the battle experience from his clone, there was no way he could become a true expert. But the world was large, and there were countless geniuses. Celestials were not guaranteed to be safe. So Yun Wusheng only dared move around in the surrounding few prefectures. Only by staying within the range of the Yun family could he guarantee his safety. Thus, the chance of Long Chen finding another celestial wandering around was very low. Furthermore, killing one of them would be offending an enormous power. It came at a heavy price. As for the Dao Rune fruit, Long Chen merely said it was a kind of miraculous fruit that was born with Dao Runes. After consuming it, there was a chance that a person could become a celestial. He didn't tell them the true origin of the fruit. If he let them know that this fruit was Yun Wusheng's Korun's, then it was unknown whether or not Tang Wan'er would immediately reject it. So Long Chen kept this secret to himself. All he had told them was that he was not sure how these fruits were born. Perhaps he would learn the requirements in the future. But for now, it seemed like it relied on the weather. Meng Qi and Tang Wan'er had thought he had just been spouting rubbish. But in truth, Long Chen's words weren't a complete lie. That was because when Celestials fought, the weather really would normally become worse. So looking at the weather wasn't absolute nonsense. As for this so-called Dao Rune fruit, there were actually many kinds of these in this world. So the name didn't sound foreign. But in Long Chen's view, it shouldn't be called Dao Rune fruit but a kind of heaven-defying heavenly Dao fruit. Furthermore, these weren't natural but man-made. After settling Tang Wan'er's matter, Long Chen gathered up the Dragonblood Legion. He saw that the excitement in their eyes still hadn't faded. Boss, when are you going to bring us out for a fight? My spear is getting hungry, cried Gu Yang. He was extremely warlike inside, and when he had seen the photographic jade of Long Chen fighting Yun Wusheng, he had had an urge to immediately find a large battle for himself. You want to fight? Could it be you aren't even aware of the flaw that is present in all of your bodies? Asked Long Chen. Boss, don't scare us. What flaw are you talking about? Asked Guo Ran. You don't have that problem, but the others all have that flaw. Your cultivation speeds have greatly surpassed your mental realms. Right now, your auras are no longer stable and have started to leak out of your control. Because you've advanced too quickly to the late meridian opening realm, you didn't notice it, said Long Chen. Now that he brought it up, everyone was startled. Paying close attention to their auras, they truly did sense slight traces of spiritual key leaking out, but they didn't sense anything else. You aren't aware that this is a sign your cultivation speed has surpassed your mental realms. It's not obvious now, but once you reach the Xi'anshan realm, it will become a huge flaw. In truth, it's my fault. I forgot to tell you that since you've all undergone complete tempering, your body will contain a great deal of medicinal pill energy. Once you reach the meridian opening realm, you should have slowed down your cultivation speed, said Long Chen. Then what should we do now? Asked Gu Yang hastily. It's a good thing I came back in time. Starting today, no one should continue cultivating. Stabilize your auras. Cultivation is like rowing a boat upstream. If you don't advance, you'll fall back. As soon as you stop cultivating, your speed will slow down, and your realm might even slowly retreat. But don't worry, because that kind of recession is just temporary. It can help stabilize your foundation slightly, said Long Chen. That's all, asked Yu Zifeng. Of course not. This is just a stopgap. To truly stabilize your foundation in a short time requires you to undergo true life and death battles. Relying on the pressure of death and the intensity of a fierce battle to completely stabilize your cultivation basis, said Long Chen. Then, should we go after the leftovers of the Yun family? I hear there are still a few dredges from them that are running businesses. An evil smile appeared on Guo Ran's face. Let that go. Those people are just branch members of the Yun family and not direct descendants. None of them are real experts, to be frank. 
they're just a bunch of workers that the Yun family didn't care about. Why bother with them? Furthermore, killing a few chickens won't bring you any pressure, said Long Chen. Then what? It seems there aren't any large battles to be fought right now. Right, said Guo Ran. For now, there's no battle to be fought. Everyone should just rest, relax, play some chiss, drink some wine, rest your balls, go play with some random missions. That was all he had to say. With his reminder, everyone no longer dared to cultivate, and they all scattered to relax. Guo Ran stealthily approached Long Chen. He, boss, I have another new invention. Come, let's find a place for me to open your eyes to the world. Outside the Zhuanshan Super Monastery, in an empty space, Guo Ran waved his hand, and an oddly shaped boat appeared in front of him. This boat was 30 meters long, and there were countless notches in it with wind spirit stones embedded into them. There was also a large cannon at the head of the boat. This bronze cannon was three feet thick and two meters long. Dragon-shaped diagrams had been carved into it to give it a grand feeling. Boss, this is what I built based on the diagram you gave me. I changed up some minor things, and I also added a cannon to it. I have special cannonballs for it. One use exhausts 1000 wind spirit stones. That power is truly awesome. When it comes to Xi'anshan experts, a single cannon can kill as many of them as there are. I've personally tried using a cannonball against a large mountain. I've also modified the tail, adding a formation to give it the greatest amount of acceleration possible. This boat speed will make it appear like a shooting star in the air. Furthermore, the leather seats are completely adjustable, allowing you to have a 360 degree view, and 5 speeds alright. It sounds and looks pretty amazing. Let's try it out. Long Chen jumped into the boat. Guo Ran sat at the front of the boat, and two poles appeared in front of him. He pushed one of those poles forward. The boat's countless wind spirit stones lit up, and the formation runes on the rear also activated. The boat became a ray of light that flew into the sky incredibly fast. Haha, <laughs> how is it? Boss, isn't the feeling of flying amazing? Guo Ran crazily shouted as he controlled the boat. Although this wasn't his first time flying it, he still felt incomparably excited. This is twice the speed of a fifth rank magical beast. It really is not bad. Long Chen nodded. He had no choice but to admire Guo Ran. He was truly talented. Back then, Long Chen had only come up with a brazen idea. He hadn't expected Guo Ran to actually be able to realize it and to even perfect it to this point. He, this is just the starting speed. Didn't I say there were five speeds? Boss, don't fall off. The boat went through four increases of speed, truly becoming like a meteorite soaring through the air. Long Chen even felt that the air resistance was getting painful. This was truly too fast. He had never experienced this speed before. Boss, how is it? Guo Ran's face was already deformed from being blown by the wind, but he still didn't forget to sound immensely pleased with himself. Five, said Long Chen out of nowhere. What? Four, boss, what are you talking about? Three, there are three more seconds until we crash into a mountain, said Long Chen lightly. Hmm. Two, what the fuck? One, boom. A huge mountain suddenly appeared in front of them. A huge dent was smashed into the flying boat, while Long Chen and Guo Ran were almost directly thrown off. Boss, you really know how to mess around. Guo Ran was slightly speechless. Your flying boat really is sturdy. Long Chen gave him a thumbs up. Long Chen had sensed that mountain a while ago, but this was just an earthen mountain, and his spiritual strength was able to see through it. So he intentionally didn't warn Guo Ran. This proved that Guo Ran's inventions were truly amazing. Even such a high-speed collision didn't break the boat. Do you want to try firing a cannon? Asked Guo Ran. No. Although we have many wind spirit stones, they're still limited. It's best to save this little bit. Long Chen shook his head. They wouldn't be able to get more wind spirit stones in the future. To immediately waste a thousand like that was meaningless. This flying boat is practically a divine weapon that can be used to kill people and run. Properly protect it. And don't expose it if you can. Guo Ran nodded. This was a secret weapon. After flying for a bit more, Long Chen and Guo Ran put away the boat and returned to the Super Monastery. As soon as they returned, a dragon blood disciple ran over. Boss, experts came looking for you. The monastery head is currently receiving them, and she needs you to get over there as fast as possible. Chapter 613 Exploding Temperament Translator Born to be there were three newcomers who were sitting in the Zhuanshan Palace. One was a muscular man with a broadsword on his back. One was a middle-aged man wearing embroidered robes, and the last was an elderly man. The muscular man was extremely large. Even sitting down, 
His height was almost the same as an ordinary person standing up. He released an explosive aura. The middle-aged man appeared to be in his thirties. He had three whiskers, and he carried a folding fan in his hand. He looked just like a scholar. As for the elder, he was clad in violet robes with a nine-story tower embroidered onto it. Boundless pressure came from him. Shu Wuhan and Cao Qingyi were also present. They were currently talking to the middle-aged man. As the muscular man and the elder refused to say a word, they simply sat there with their eyes closed. Monastery head Shu. When will Long Chen arrive? I've already waited for an hour. He's just a junior. So why must he put on such airs? Suddenly, the muscular man broke his silence. His voice was similar to his figure, rough and coarse, sounding like the beating of a loud drum. I'm sorry, but I was unaware you would be coming. Long Chen went out for a trip, but I've already sent disciples to alert him. He should quickly return. Shu Wuhan smiled. Although this sword-bearing muscular man and the middle-aged scholar were only half stepsy expansion experts, Shu Wuhan had no choice but to be courteous to them. That was because their backgrounds were far too intimidating. The sword-bearing man was actually from a sect as famous as the Zhuanshan Dao sect. The heaven-splitting divine sect his appearance made Shu Wuhan slightly worried. The heaven-splitting divine sect was not present in this region. Could it be that news that Long Chen had cultivated the first form of split the heavens had reached their ears? Did Long Chen's intense battles in King Prefecture expose him? But that still didn't make sense. If it was from that, the timing didn't match up. It would be impossible for someone to arrive this quickly. As for the middle-aged man, his background was equally shocking. He came from the ancient family alliance. Although the Zhuanshan Dao sect and the ancient family alliance were not enemies or friends, she still had to be courteous. The fact that someone from the ancient family alliance would come was well within her expectations. The destruction of the Yun family was a major matter. However, the fact that the Pill Tower had also sent someone made her a bit bewildered. The Pill Tower supposedly did not care about worldly matters. Why would they come here? Now wasn't the time for her to say those things. However, the fact that three great powers had sent representatives at the same time was rather thought-provoking. HMPH, it couldn't be that you sent him running. Right, asked the sword-bearing man icily. Sir, are you suspecting me? Shu Wuhan's expression sank. This was too much. When it came to cultivation base and even including his status, this sword-bearing man was only a half step C expansion expert. He did not have the qualifications to be arrogant in front of her. A true C expansion expert. That was especially true since Shu Wuhan was a monastery head who represented the Zhuanshan Dao sect. His words seemed to be a provocation. The sword-bearing man snorted but didn't say any more. As for Cao Qingyi, a slight smile appeared on her face, one delighting in Chu Wuhan's misfortune. Reporting to the monastery head, senior apprentice brother Long Chen has arrived. Long Chen walked in. The instant he appeared, three gazes locked onto him. Long Chen stared back and his heart shook. He felt a strong sense of danger from these people. Although they were only half step C expansion experts, they were extremely strong. They were much stronger than Wang Yishan or Luo Yingsheng. You are Long Chen. The sword-bearing man suddenly stood up. He was a whole head taller than Long Chen. And he icily looked down at him. Shu Wuhan frowned. The man was too stupid. And it seemed he didn't know any manners. However, this wasn't a good time for her to say anything. She just glanced at Long Chen. Indicating he should be careful. As soon as Long Chen saw this sword-bearing man. He could guess his origin. He possessed the aura of split the heavens. So he should have come from the heaven-splitting divine sect correct? Long Chen nodded. Where did you obtain the first form of split the heavens? Asked the sword-bearing man icily. Long Chen frowned, a bit irritated. This mannerism made it seem like he was interrogating a criminal. Suddenly, Xu Wuhan gave him a meaningful glance. And Long Chen took a deep breath, suppressing his anger. Back in the Phoenix Cry Empire, I found it in a pile of discarded battle skills in the capital's battle skill pavilion. Do you have any proof? The capital had people overseeing everything. You can go ask. Back then, I used a medicinal pill to bribe one of them to obtain the beast hide. In any case, his parents had already left Phoenix Cry. Long Chen no longer had any misjivings. Furthermore, he was speaking the truth. So he wasn't afraid of any investigation. With the rules of the cultivation world, cultivators were not allowed to make things hard on the secular world's people. This sword-bearing man wouldn't dare do anything to the Phoenix Cry Empire. Fine, I'll remember these words. I'll investigate myself, and if you lie to me, you'll definitely regret it, said the sword-bearing man, pointing at Long Chen. 
Long Chen's gaze turned cold, and killing intent appeared within his eyes. Being pointed at like this was extremely rude, but Long Chen still endured it. Then let me ask you, was my divine sect's disciple killed by you? Correct. You brazen brood. You dared to kill a disciple from my sect. You pow. A large hand ruthlessly slapped across the man's face. The immense force directly sent him flying, and he crashed through the wall, smashed through a set of stairs and destroyed a huge stone lion before coming to a stop. Shut the fuck up. I've restrained myself for so long. If you want to force me anymore, I'll directly hack you to death. Killing intent erupted from Long Chen. This bastard was completely intolerable. Even before learning about the whole truth, he immediately began to curse him. Long Chen's sudden attack caused everyone to jump in shock, especially the middle-aged man and the elder from the pill tower. Long Chen's temperament was too explosive, and he had exploded without the slightest sign. Bastard, you're looking to die. The sword-bearing man roared furiously and charged out. His sword was now in his hand, and he was pointing it at Long Chen, just about to attack. If you dare take another step, I'll make your blood dye this place red. If you don't believe me, you can try it. I, Long Chen, never make empty threats. Long Chen stood with his hands clasped behind his back, icily glaring at the man. Long Chen was truly furious. If this man dared attack, Long Chen would bring out his full strength to kill him. Who cared about his sect? Such idiots should just be directly killed. As for the sword-bearing man, he had just exploded into fury when he felt an unprecedented terror from looking into Long Chen's eyes. He felt like he wasn't facing a person but a terrifying monster instead. As long as he took another step, his life would disappear. This was a kind of intuition. As an expert, he was extremely sensitive to danger. His scalp turned numb. Friend from the heaven-splitting divine sect, put down your sword. Long Chen recently killed a meridian opening celestial. So you aren't his match, advised the middle-aged man. What? You've killed a celestial. The sword-bearing man's expression changed completely. It seems Sir rushed over too quickly and isn't aware of the entire story. How about you sit down and we can calmly discuss this, advised the middle-aged man. The sword-bearing man's expression was exceedingly ugly. This slap in the face was too vicious, and even his facial bones had broken. Just how was he supposed to brush off the anger at having such a clear handprint on his face? But in the end, he knew that since Long Chen could kill a meridian opening celestial, he wasn't a match for him. And yet, retreating like this was an immense blow to his prestige. So he stubbornly said, to kill one of our disciples is to become enemies with my heaven-splitting divine sect. What nonsense. It was your disciple who got greedy for my treasures. I had clearly already given him the beast hide to prove my innocence. But he still placed his sights on my treasures, wanting to kill me and take them for himself. That was the only reason I killed him. Do you have a mental illness? I can't kill him, but he can kill me. Cursed Long Chen. You're the one spouting nonsense. It was someone from your Zhuanshan Dao sect that alerted my heaven-splitting divine sect that someone secretly learned our split the heavens divine ability. To cover that up, you despicably killed one of our disciples. That's the only reason I spent several months rushing over here to investigate. Raged the sword-bearing man. Someone from the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Long Chen suddenly turned around to glare at Cao King Ai with killing intent. Shu Wuhan's expression was also dark as she looked at Cao King Ai, clenching her fists tightly. You, what are you looking at me for? He said someone from the Zhuanshan Dao sect, not someone from my Cao family. Don't accuse the wrong person. Cao King Ai's voice was lacking confidence, but she still forced herself to be calm. Cao King Ai, you are playing with fire. If you continue to play, I hope you won't regret it when I exterminate your Zhao family, said Long Chen icily. This Zhao family really was too despicable. They had actually alerted the heaven-splitting divine sect on their own, wanting to borrow their blade to kill him. Unfortunately, the dragon expert had told him that its strength could only be used once. It had sealed the remaining energy inside the dragon scale. If Long Chen wanted to use the green dragon possession again, he needed to refine the essence blood first. During this time, the dragon expert was unable to give him any help. Long Chen was unable to bring out the green dragon possession right now. Otherwise, he would have directly killed this hateful BTCH. Unfortunately, without that skill, he was not a match for a sea expansion expert. Long Chen suddenly threw a photographic jade at the sword-bearing man. This is a recording of my conversation with your sect's disciple. You'll understand once you see it. Within the Jiuli secret realm. Long Chen had kept a photographic jade activated the entire time. Now it finally had a use. 
Once the sword-bearing man looked through it, he found it really was as Long Chen said. He didn't know what to say. He was both embarrassed as well as infuriated, as that slap in his face was something he couldn't do anything about anymore. Seeing that the sword-bearing man had nothing more to say, the middle-aged man smiled. Mr. Long Chen, I have a few things I want to ask you about. Chapter 614 Cursing in the Nose Translator Born to be the scholarly, middle-aged man's words were very courteous, but Long Chen saw rancor hidden deep in his eyes. He was the typical model of a human scum that liked to act as a scholar. He was clearly a cultivator. So why did he have to dress himself up as a weak scholar? Please go ahead, said Long Chen bluntly. What relationship do you have with Mo Gate? Asked the middle-aged man. I am close brothers with Mo Gate's junior gate master. I've eaten and lived with him. As a person, he is extremely generous, treating me to food, drink, and prostitutes. He's very loyal, spouted Long Chen. Shu Wuhan was speechless. Although this wasn't exactly taboo for cultivators, saying that he went to see prostitutes was still extremely awkward. Haha, <laughs> then how much do you understand about Mogate? Asked the middle-aged man. However, this time a formless spiritual energy crept toward Long Chen. He was trying to tell whether or not Long Chen was lying by sensing his spiritual fluctuations. Long Chen sneered inside. Wasn't this fake scholar embarrassed to show off such insignificant spiritual strength? Acting as if he didn't realize he was probing him, Long Chen replied, I actually know quite a bit about Mo Gate. His family has many members. Some are men, some are women, some are seniors, and some are children. The middle-aged man's expression sank, and he icily said, Long Chen, I am representing the ancient family alliance right now. It'd be best for you to be more serious. What does who you represent have to do with me? Just why would I have to be more serious? Do you think your ancient families are so amazing? Fuck. You idiots kidnapped my father, my mother, and even my little sister who is just a child. With the destruction of the Yun family, even my family has disappeared. Fuck your mother. Are ancient families so amazing? Could it be that ancient families are simply allowed to bully us? Ordinary cultivators? You represent the ancient families? Good. I've long since been stifling a stomach of complaints. Today, if you don't give me an explanation, then don't even think about leaving here alive. Blood drinker suddenly appeared in Long Chen's hand. Endless pressure tightly locked down the middle-aged man. Long Chen's eyes were scarlet, and endless killing intent erupted from him, making him look like a berserk devil king. Although his parents and sister were safe, this matter's cause was entirely because of the Yun family. They had broken his family's peaceful life. Just mentioning an ancient family gave Long Chen rage. You want to interrogate me? Good. Then I'll properly settle our bill today. Long Chen had an urge to immediately crush this faker into pulp. The instant Long Chen's aura erupted, Xu Wuhan and Cao King Gai were both startled. Even they, true sea expansion experts, felt intimidated. That wasn't because of his cultivation base aura, but because of the endless killing intent in his aura. That killing intent had practically become solid. Even they felt a chill from it. They had no idea how Long Chen had come to possess such a terrifying killing intent. What they weren't aware of was that this was the result of Long Chen personally exterminating the entire Yun family. Having killed three sea expansion experts from the Yun family, he had ended up infected by boundless resentment, which had caused his killing intent to surge to a level that could even shock them. As for the middle-aged man who was locked down by this killing intent, he was as pale as paper. He was horrified to find that he couldn't even muster the courage to lift a single finger. In fact, he didn't even dare bat an eye. That was because he was afraid that just that slight action would cause his aura to fluctuate, which would cause Long Chen to strike like lightning, and his head would tumble from his shoulders. The sword-bearing man couldn't help but feel that he had been lucky. Long Chen was truly too terrifying. It was a good thing he hadn't used force just now. Long Chen, calm down. He came to investigate, not to find a quarrel. Don't misunderstand, said Xu Wuhan. But she had no choice but to admire him. This sudden hostility had been done perfectly, and the other side was completely intimidated. That's right, I only came to investigate. I need to find out the whole story. I'm not intentionally targeting you. I simply have to give an explanation to the ancient families and to the outside world. Don't worry, if the Yun family really kidnapped your parents, they would have broken the rules of the cultivation world. Our ancient families won't allow such scum to be counted amongst ourselves. We'll definitely give you justice said the middle-aged man hastily. Justice? You know what justice is? Do you arrogant fellows give a damn about others? 
In Qing Prefecture, Yin Wusheng's threats against me had long since been recorded by countless people. I don't believe you didn't see them. You clearly know that I'm the victim, but you still came here to interrogate me. Furthermore, my parents and sister have already disappeared along with the destruction of the Yun family. Just what justice are you going to give me? Raged Long Chen, his eyes scarlet. Ah, the middle-aged man was at a complete loss. He had seen those photographic jades, and he had heard the threats Yun Wusheng had used against Long Chen. But his true goal in coming here wasn't really to investigate that. So he had simply ignored it. But Long Chen's burst of fury caused him to be speechless. He even regretted coming to the Zhuangshan Super Monastery. If he had known it would turn out like this, he wouldn't have rushed over. Long Chen, calm down. You have to clearly distinguish just who is the true source of the injustice, shouted Shu Wuhan. However, inside, she was laughing. Previously, she had asked Long Chen about his family, and he hadn't wanted to trick her about that. In order to avoid making her feel unwell, he had told her that his family was safe. So Shu Wuhan knew that Long Chen was just faking, but Long Chen's acting was just too realistic, and even she almost believed it. Knowing that she had to work together with Long Chen at this point, she played the role of a strict superior. Only like this would the middle-aged man be intimidated enough for them to have a proper conversation. Otherwise, with his status, he would often say thorny words that were irritating to hear. Right, right, I just came here to investigate which will help you address the injustice said the middle-aged man. Long Chen took a deep breath and suppressed his fury. In truth, he really was furious. He loathed these arrogant fellows the most. Although this fellow liked to dress himself up as a refined scholar, it was impossible for him to conceal his contempt for others. Only now did Long Chen put away his saber, allowing the middle-aged man to sigh with relief. Long Chen had been too terrifying just now. He seemed like a berserk madman. Sorry. Due to the disappearance of his family and with the fact that no one knows if they're alive or not, Long Chen's fury has caused his words to be rude. Please don't be offended, apologized Shu Wuhan. Ah, no, no, this just proves Long Chen cares deeply about his family. Such a righteous hero is truly rare, the middle-aged man laughed. Following this, the middle-aged man sat down and began to ask Long Chen a few things. But this time, he was much more polite. Long Chen had long since had a story prepared. He didn't hesitate with his replies. He told him everything. The main thing was that Mo Yi had helped Long Chen come up with a story before leaving. After thinking over it many times, he had adjusted any flaws. What was spouted out of Long Chen's mouth were the best, most seamless lies he had ever told. Furthermore, the middle-aged man had been in the wrong just before this, and now seeing Long Chen cooperate and answer so smoothly, he felt that Long Chen was truly a magnanimous soul. It was normal for him to be furious and aggrieved. After his questions, he felt that he had determined the whole sequence of events. During the teleportation process, there had been a problem, and Long Chen had been teleported somewhere other than the Yun family. This kind of situation wasn't unprecedented. Many forceful teleportation talismans had circulated down from ancient times. After how much time had passed, it was more than possible for slight flaws to appear in them. Just the slightest flaw could affect a teleportation talisman's effect, so this wasn't all too rare. Furthermore, the middle-aged man had already sent a team to investigate in Phoenix Cry. He trusted they would conclude the truth very quickly. After asking his questions, he even said he would muster a team to help Long Chen look for his family. But Long Chen had merely curled his lips. He obviously didn't believe such pompous words. As for the middle-aged man, he was merely speaking some empty words. Of course. He wouldn't really send people looking. Being exposed like this, he felt extremely awkward. However, all of his questions had been asked now. The elder who hadn't said anything this entire time finally opened his mouth. This old man is Huo Li, the administrator for the pill tower within the Su, Lin, and Yi prefectures. Huo? Is Huo Wufang one of your people? Asked Long Chen. In terms of seniority, I would be his uncle. Huo Wufang's uncle? He. I trust Huo Wufang is still alive. Right, sneered Long Chen. Correct, he really is alive, but each day, he feels the pain of thousands of ants devouring his marrow. It is truly a life worse than death, said Huo Li. Not bad, it really is just as I thought. I knew a cowardly, greedy person like him wouldn't have the courage to end his own life, said Long Chen indifferently. You, you've tormented him for this long. After this long, no matter what sins you think Wu Fang committed, he has paid the price. That should be enough for you. I hope you can give us the antidote, 
and then our Huo family will owe you a favor. How's that? Huo Li suppressed his fury at being talked to in this manner. As the administrator for three prefectures, even sect leaders in this region would have to be respectful toward him. But Long Chen, a junior, dared talk to him like this. That immediately caused his fury to soar. He was different from the other two who had come. He represented the pill tower. Their medicinal pills were the lifeline of all sects. No one dared to offend them. But for Huo Wufang, he had no choice but to curb his arrogance. They had run out of options, because without the antidote, there was no way for them to heal Huo Wufang. They could only watch all day as he cried out miserably, living a life worse than death. Now, the Huo family had finally decided their dignity wasn't worth it, and Huo Li, an extremely prestigious figure, had come to the Zhuanchen Super Monastery to subserviently ask Long Chen for the antidote. That was already an admission of defaturing and a great humiliation to the Huo family. Monastery head, can I decide this matter myself? Long Chen looked toward Xu Wuhan. Xu Wuhan looked from Long Chen to Huo Li and couldn't help but sigh. You can decide. No matter what choice you make, the Super Monastery will support you. Long Chen nodded and turned back to Huo Li, pointing at his nose and cursing. Fuck the hell off. Chapter 615 Completely Unexpected Translator Born to be Long Chen's words caused everyone to be dumbfounded. Even Xu Wuhan, who had already known that Long Chen would definitely refuse the Huo family's proposal, had never imagined Long Chen would be this fierce. You, you little brood. What did you say? Huo Li could no longer hold back his fury. Old brood, I told you to fuck the hell off. Now you've heard it clearly. Right, sneered Long Chen. Monastery head Shu. Is this how your Zhuanchen Super Monastery raises its disciples? Raged Huo Li. Even cursing back at a junior was a loss of status for him. So he had no choice but to turn to Xu Wuhan. Trying to force her into restraining Long Chen. Xu Wuhan lightly replied. Administrator Huo. Previously. I've already stated that Long Chen has the authority to make his own decisions. As for you. You came to talk to Long Chen. Thus. I. Xu Wuhan. Won't interfere. You. Fine. Huo Li turned back and asked, Long Chen, are you going to give me the antidote or not? No, Long Chen answered extremely directly. The middle-aged man and the sword-bearing man were both shocked. Just what kind of divinity was Long Chen for him to be able to make a poison that even the pill tower was helpless to cure? It had to be known that the pill tower was filled with alchemists. Furthermore, Long Chen's firm attitude also startled them. He was giving no leeway at all. He was setting himself up as an enemy of the pill tower. Even a small meridian opening brat dared challenge the pill tower? That was truly crazy. Did he not care about his life? You. You better think this through. A youngster should think things through before acting. Don't regret it. The threat within Huo Yi's words was obvious. Regret? Why would I regret it? Now that my family is no longer present, I am just one loner. What would I be afraid of? You want to threaten me? Could it be that you didn't take your medication before coming out? Do you think I'm someone easily threatened? If you have the ability, then come try and kill me in one strike. But let me tell you, if you aren't able to kill me in that one blow, he, it just so happens that I am someone who dares to do anything. Long Chen's sinister laugh raised goosebumps. HMPH, you're too arrogant, practically unreasonable. I came here to reconcile our differences, but you don't know how to appreciate my kindness, sneered Huo Li. He had never seen such an obstinate person. Reconcile our differences? Kindness? All right. If you want to reconcile, that's fine. If you can revive the brothers and sisters that died in the Jiuli secret realm because of Huo Wufang, then we can reconcile. Can you do that? Asked Long Chen coldly. That enmity is with the Yun family. It has nothing to do with my Huo family, said Huo Li. Bullshit. If it hadn't been for Huo Wufang, would I have become everyone's target? If it hadn't been for him, how could Lu Fanger have died so miserably in the secret realm? Now you want to shift the blame and reconcile with me? You want the antidote to save that scum? You must be dreaming, raged Long Chen. Thinking of Lu Fanger's death, Long Chen felt a needle-like pain in his heart. A young maiden in her prime had forever disappeared from the world. Even now, Long Chen was unable to accept that fact. In fact, he didn't even dare think about it any further. Each time he thought of it, the pain would fill him and then his hatred would soar. Long Chen's eyes were currently scarlet, and he was on the verge of attacking Huo Li. You, you really are unreasonable. You also killed so many people. According to your reasoning, wouldn't you deserve 10,000 deaths? Demanded Huo Li. You must be mentally ill. 
I was the victim the entire time. They all wanted to take my life. Am I not allowed to retaliate? Sneered Long Chen. I'll ask you one last time. Are you giving it or not? Huo Li stood up, glaring at Long Chen. Even if you ask a hundred times, it'll be the same. I refuse. Long Chen icily glared back. Good. Then just wait. I'll be taking your words as a provocation to the pill tower. I'll return Huo Wufang's pain a hundredfold to you. Long Chen's saber once more appeared in his hand, and he suddenly slashed it at Huo Li. There had been no warning at all, and by the time anyone reacted, that saber was already about to reach Huo Li. They let out startled cries. None of them had expected Long Chen to be so brazen as to actually kill someone here. Flame Spirit Shield. Green Jade Flame Surge. Huo Li hastily created two pill flame defenses, but Long Chen's saber still blew through them, reaching his chest. However, after going through two defenses, the force of his saber had weakened. Furthermore, Huo Li immediately retreated, so he managed to avoid being cut in two. A long line of blood appeared on his chest now. You want to return the pain a hundredfold to me? Do you believe me when I say I won't let you walk out of this room? Long Chen pointed a saber at a horrified Huo Li, killing intent surging out of him. Ha 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 ha. Good. I, Huo Li, will remember this attack. Looking at the injury on his chest, Huo Li was incredibly furious. But now he understood that Long Chen was a madman. Threatening him was just courting death. After saying his final words, Huo Li immediately left. Why bother? The pill tower's strength is not something you can imagine. Long Chen, why must you force them to this point? Sighed the middle-aged man. Senior must not know. Back in the Jiuli secret realm, I restrained myself in front of Huo Wufang several times, but he always forced me to strike back. In the end, he even used his status to order the righteous and corrupt paths to attack me, causing my brothers to die and my beauties to fall. If it were you, what would you do? Asked Long Chen. The middle-aged man was startled. Looking at the grievance in Long Chen's eyes, it seemed the situation between him and the pill tower was much more complicated than he had thought. But this won't be favorable to your future. My life is just a life. It is not so valuable that I would sacrifice my values for it. I'm not afraid to tell you the truth. If the Yun family wasn't destroyed by Mogate, then when my cultivation base reached that level, I would have definitely eradicated the Yun family myself. Even if I had to become enemies with the entire ancient family alliance, I would not hesitate. The worst case is that I lose this little life of mine, said Long Chen indifferently. Although that middle-aged man seemed to be expressing kind intentions, Long Chen knew he was just trying to worm his way closer to him, trying to be friendly in order to get any valuable clues. Long Chen had seen many of these sanctimonious fellows. He trusted that with Mo Yi's character, his enemies were no good people. There is a time to repay gratitude and enmity. In any case, my mission is already complete. I have to turn in my report. Monastery Head Shu, Brother Guan, Junior Brother Long Chen, I'll take my leave. The middle-aged man left as soon as he said goodbye. Now the only one remaining was that sword-bearing man. He also rose to leave, but then after hesitating, he said, Long Chen, I have a few things I want to discuss with you alone. Long Chen was startled. It seemed there wouldn't be any good words between them. Shu Wuhan was also startled, but she then nodded, arranging a private room for them. Does sir have any teachings? Within that private room, Long Chen and the sword-bearing man were sitting, looking at each other. But the sword-bearing man didn't say anything for a long time. Long Chen was the one to break the silence. Long Chen, you are the manliest man I've ever met. Unexpectedly, this sword-bearing man gave Long Chen a thumbs up. Senior overpraises me. Long Chen had no idea what this sword-bearing man was intending. All he could say were some token words of modesty. Today, I've learned what being domineering truly means. Even in front of an enormous existence that you can't possibly challenge, you still must be incomparably domineering. I, Guan Mayan, have never seen such a thing before, praised the sword-bearing man. In truth, I only came here because my sect told me a disciple had been killed and wanted me to investigate. But I believe you. That disciple was greedy, and that's why he deserved to be killed. This matter can't be blamed on you. However, the matter of you learning the first form of split the heavens is serious. The heaven-splitting divine sect will not allow it. Seeing Long Chen frown, this Guan Mayan continued, but this matter has already surpassed what I am qualified to handle. I need to report this matter. As for how the higher-ups will handle it, it'll be up to your luck. However, you shouldn't be too worried. With your character. I think it's very likely that the sect will actually praise you. 
there is still room for negotiation, but that's just my guess. As for the final result, I don't dare guarantee anything. So when the time comes, whether I have to take back the battle skill from you, or bring you to join the sect, will be decided by your luck. Long Chen was completely flabbergasted. There was actually such a thing? The reason I asked to speak to you alone is because I am prepared to transmit the second form of split the heavens to you, said Guan Mayan extremely seriously. What? Long Chen stood up. He had never imagined that this hostile enemy from a few minutes ago would actually take the initiative to teach him his secret technique. You don't need to be surprised. If the higher-ups like you, they will naturally bring you to join the sect if they don't like you. They will send experts to kill you. So, me passing on the second form to you won't change anything. But I feel like, with your strength, the chance of them wanting to kill you is very low. Furthermore, I truly admire your domineeringness. There are many people in this era who like to act domineering, but when they are truly faced with death, they all become cowards. I actually always thought that my domineeringness was something I was born with. I always thought I was very domineering, but when you pointed your saber at me, I felt fear and reverence. At that moment, I realized that I was afraid of death. So now I realize my domineeringness is also a kind of act. That saber of yours allowed me to see many things that I couldn't see before. My mental realm has advanced by quite a bit. Just treat it as me taking advantage of my position for a private matter. Transmitting the second form of split the heavens will be my repayment to you for this enlightenment. I, Guan Mayan, don't like owing favors. Hearing all this, Long Chen couldn't help feeling ashamed. The first impression was truly the strongest. Long Chen had thought this person would be the same kind of despicable, petty person as the heaven-splitting divine sect's disciple he had killed. That was why he had almost immediately cursed him. Now he felt extremely embarrassed. Senior, don't call me senior, as I am not fit to be called that by you. I will transmit the second form of split the heavens to you now, and then I'll have to rush back to send this report. This trip takes very long, and I don't have time to waste. Listen closely to the mnemonic. Chapter 616 Stimulation Translator Born to be what did that person from the heaven-splitting divine sect discuss with you? How come he seemed so beaming when he left? Within Xu Wuhan's private room, Xu Wuhan was still puzzled. Long Chen had clearly viciously slapped that person in the face, but that person hadn't been the slightest bit angry when he had left. Even I don't really believe it. He actually imparted the second form of split the heavens to me, said Long Chen with a strange smile. Did you slap him into an imbecile? Asked Xu Wuhan, shocked. After being slapped, he actually taught the person who had slapped him? Wasn't that something only someone mentally ill would do? It really is embarrassing. Maybe my temperament is a bit too explosive. I shouldn't have treated him like that, said Long Chen. Long Chen rarely felt guilty about beating someone, but this time he really was a bit ashamed. He told Xu Wuhan what had happened. As expected, the legends are true. The heaven-splitting divine sect's disciples are all fellows that can't be judged according to reason. There's something wrong with their brains, sighed Xu Wuhan. According to rumors, because of their cultivation technique, their temperaments are extremely explosive, and they are extremely arrogant. Even if they have kind words for you, they won't say them in a kind way. So the heaven-splitting divine sect, from top to bottom, uses only their fists to talk. Even when they teach their disciples, they beat their lessons into them. They definitely won't use their mouths. The heaven-splitting divine sect's members are all treated as madmen that no one wants to provoke. But although they are madmen, they have the strength to be called experts. That's why he would actually transmit the second form of split the heavens once you slapped him. As expected, they really are a group of weirdos. Thinking of Long Chen's vicious slap, Xu Wuhan laughed uncontrollably. This person's actions really were incomprehensible. Perhaps only the heaven-splitting divine sect could have raised such a person. If it was anyone else, they probably wouldn't act like this even if they were beaten to death. If you laugh like this, you'll make me blush said Long Chen. What would you blush for? If you weren't currently so strong, he wouldn't even have glanced at you before capturing you and bringing you to stand trial in the heaven-splitting divine sect. Xu Wuhan shook her head. But what intentions did he have by giving me the second form of split the heavens? Long Chen still didn't understand. Was it that he had been infected by his domineeringness? Long Chen felt that to be a bit ridiculous. You're overthinking it. The heads of those people aren't filled with brains, just muscle. They rarely speak in a roundabout manner. Since he transmitted the second form of split the heavens to you, you can train in it at ease. This might actually be a good sign. 
As an ordinary cultivator, you were actually able to defeat Charinga Celestial. That grand style is definitely in accordance with the heaven-splitting divine sect's liking. Perhaps they really won't bother you about having their secret technique, said Shu Wuhan. But I'm a disciple of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. That's fine. So what if you are a disciple of the Dao sect? You can still train in other people's battle skills. As long as it's not the abilities from the corrupt path, no one will care. Furthermore, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's core techniques can only be cultivated in once you break out of the Haoshan realms. It can be said that the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples are comparatively weaker before then. But once they break through, they'll have the qualifications to train in the Zhuanshan catalog. Then you'll all leap in power. Right now, you are in a kind of suppressed state. The more ruthlessly you are suppressed, the greater your springback will be. You should focus on reaching the Zhuanshan realm now. Only once you reach the Zhuanshan realm will you be able to see a wider sky. All that you see right now is just the tip of an iceberg. This world is much larger than you can imagine. Xu Wuhan looked at Long Chen with expectations. Sister, by refusing to submit to the Huo family this time, did I bring you trouble? Asked Long Chen. According to reason, with Long Chen's relationship with Xu Wuhan, if he had taken a step back, then Xu Wuhan would have it much easier. After all, she was the monastery head, and there were many things under her care. Considering that the pill tower provided the Zhuanshan supermonastery with all its medicinal pills, they were a troublesome opponent. Last time, Xu Wuhan had already said that the pill tower was beginning to reduce the medicinal pills they would sell to the supermonastery. Now that Huo Yi had been cursed so viciously by Long Chen, perhaps the pill tower would truly make things hard on her. Haha, <laughs> it's fine. The only thing they can do is come up with a bunch of excuses as to why they can't offer medicinal pills to the supermonastery anymore. Furthermore, the Huo family is just one of the three families in charge of the pill tower. There are two others, so the Huo family can't control everything. Furthermore, our Zhuanshan Dao sect is much stronger than you think. The Huo family doesn't dare offend the Zhuanshan Dao sect cutting off our medicinal pills is just them acting like temperamental children. After a few years, everyone will be fine. They won't dare continue forever. I'll apply to have more medicinal pills sent to us from the higher ups. That'll be enough for us to continue for these years. The Huo family won't dare force us to the point of despair. Because they are afraid of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's displeasure. With the Pill Valley above them, the Huo family can't be so arrogant. So you don't need to be worried. I know that girl's death was a large blow to you. I understand you, said Shu Wuhan. Many thanks, sister. There's no need to thank me. If you really place this sister in your eyes, then try to save me so much worry. In all my years, you're the only person who has made me worry this much. Shu Wuhan glared at Long Chen. Long Chen couldn't help feeling awkward and he hastily changed the subject. Sister, do you have more detailed information about the Blood Kill Hall? The Blood Kill Hall? Oh, that's right. I heard the Blood Kill Hall once more tried to assassinate you in King Prefecture. I heard you were injured, asked Xu Wuhan. Yes, these fellows are too loathsome. Now, I don't mind taking the trouble to give them a vicious beating. If I didn't give them a vicious counter-strike, it wouldn't be my style, said Long Chen. Those fellows were too annoying. After being entangled with them for so long, Long Chen had become completely infuriated, especially when they had used a little girl to try and assassinate him. He would give these idiots a beating they would remember. The Blood Kill Hall is truly troublesome, let alone you. Even the Zhuanshan Dao sect can't do anything to them, sighed Shu Wuhan. What? Seriously? Asked an incredulous Long Chen. You're still underestimating the Blood Kill Hall. You just think they're some ordinary assassins. In truth, that's not the case. Their organization is extremely large, and they have a profound foundation. Furthermore, they are not part of the righteous path, nor are they part of the corrupt path. They will sell lives to whoever gives them money. Most importantly, they have countless strongholds. Their assassins are split into bronze, silver, gold, and dark gold ranks. I've also heard there are violet gold assassins. According to legend, the Blood Kill Assassins Violet Gold Assassins are all experts on the level of Celestials. In other words, they are capable of assassinating Celestials, said Shu Wuhan. Celestial Assassins? Are they stupid? If they're Celestials, why do they do such shameful acts? Long Chen was a bit speechless. They don't consider assassination to be a shameful act. In fact, they consider it a supreme and grand art. They never assassinate targets weaker than them, because that would be a humiliation to their art. What they seek is the stimulation in trying to defeat Turing stranger opponents than them, 
So that's why the ones who try to assassinate you will not be of a higher realm than you. Assassinations within the same realm is their limit, said Shu Wuhan. Stimulation? He. I also like to be stimulated. Next time, I'll stimulate them to death. Long Chen laughed sinisterly. They were looking for stimulation? They should have told him sooner. Long Chen, the assassins you ran into in King Prefecture should have been only gold rank assassins. They are actually quite powerful and can easily kill Xi'anchen experts. But in front of you, they were obviously too weak. If my guess isn't wrong, the next time they target you, they'll send dark gold assassins, warned Shu Wuhan. Why don't they just directly send violet gold assassins, asked Long Chen. Because you aren't a celestial, they won't send someone stronger than you to assassinate you. Then it wouldn't be an assassination. They want to defeat those stronger than them. If you are able to survive the assassination of the Dark Gold Assassins, the Blood Kill Hall will declare the mission to kill you has ended in failure and the matter will end there. So be careful, because there are precedents of Dark Gold Assassins managing to kill Celestials. Don't be careless, warned Shu Wuhan. Don't worry, I don't like joking with my own life, said Long Chen. The final wave? They think they can just say they give up? But what about my anger at being targeted like this? Do they think things will end just because they want them to? After leaving Shu Wuhan's room, Long Chen went to find Guo Ran. I have a few things that I forgot to give you last time. Look, can you use these things? Long Chen handed Guo Ran a golden fragment. Although it was only the size of a plate, its weight was shocking. It had to weigh tens of thousands of pounds. This, my heavens, isn't this treasure class material? Guo Ran's eyes almost popped out. You recognize it. Long Chen was surprised. Boss, really? You are talking to a future crafting god. If I couldn't even recognize some material, I really would have worked all this time for nothing. However, I won't hide the truth from you. This is something I've only seen in the Supermonasteries forging secret records. It's my first time actually seeing it in person. Boss, did you steal this or snatch it? Do you have more? Guo Ran's eyes shone. Long Chen was speechless. This little fellow really understood him. He handed him a ring. Look for yourself. Heavens. Boss. I really love you to death. Novaloon.com Guo Ran cried out excitedly and went to hug Long Chen. As a result, he was pushed to the side by Long Chen. Can you refine this or not? Yes. I definitely can. My forging table is a treasure from the immortal era. And it can definitely refine it. But. But what? Guo Ran awkwardly said. The forging table might be amazing. And it can refine this but it requires 5th tier forging flame, that requires using up middle grade spirit stones and a truly frightening amount, Long Chen smiled slightly, don't worry, any problems that can be resolved with money aren't problems, it just so happens that I made some big business recently, chapter 617 timely assistance translator, born to be big business, what big business, did you con more people, asked Guo Ran excitedly, fuck, do you think I'm such a bad person, raged Long Chen, but his words were said somewhat guiltily, because it seemed any big businesses he had conducted truly did involve conning people. Long Chen immediately changed the subject. Let me ask you, once you smelt this material, what kind of things can you create? With this much material, I can create a whole new suit of golden armor for myself. I'll become a golden battle god. Guo Ran confidently looked at the spatial ring. His eyes were shining as if he could already see himself in his golden armor valiantly standing on the battlefield. Hey, don't daydream. Wipe away your drool. If you can create armor, can you create weapons? Asked Long Chen. Guo Ran turned a bit listless and shook his head. To tell the truth, having me forge this kind of material is a complete waste. Xi'anchen class material is already my limit. If I were to forge enchanted class material, I would end up wasting half its power. As for this kind of treasure class material, I think I might end up wasting 90% of its power. Guo Ran was ashamed. If a Grand Master Forger were to learn that a rookie like Guo Ran was about to ruin such precious natural treasures, they would definitely beat him to death and then beat his corpse some more. That's fine. As long as you can forge it, it's fine. You're already very strong. As long as it can increase your strength, it's not wasteful. So how strong will you be if you create armor from this? Asked Long Chen. Attacks below the sea expansion realm can be ignored. As for sea expansion experts, I can't say for sure because I've only seen them attack in photographic jades. However, I should be able to reduce the impact of their attacks by quite a bit, said Guo Ran. Long Chen nodded. That's already very powerful, but why can't you make it into weapons? 
because martial weapons focus on offense, but the forging runes recorded in the Super Monastery focus on defense. As for the attacking runes available, they're too low class. Furthermore, the ethereal crafting secret records runes are too profound, and I can't comprehend them. So if I were to place the Super Monastery's runes on a martial weapon, I wouldn't be able to add much offensive might to them at all. That really would be turning divine material into trash. Sighed Guo Ran. According to Guo Ran, the Super Monastery had quite a few forging masters, but those forging masters were extremely arrogant, and they liked to look down their noses at people. Guo Ran had tried sucking up to a few of them, but as a result, he had had to leave without any achievements at all. They simply ignored him. Obviously, those forging masters were very protective of their secret forging arts. They refused to transmit them. Ah, so that's what it was. Long Chen sank into thought for a moment before saying, if you refine this material into hidden arrows, needles, and other concealed weapons used for sneak attacks, how strong would they be? Of course, that would be badass. Such material is already extremely hard. Even without carving runes into those, their killing power would definitely be terrifying. But to turn this material into concealed weapons is a bit wasteful. Maybe we should just store it for now? Once my forging arts improve, I can forge it into better things, suggested Guo Ran. Using such precious material to create a set of armor for himself had already felt wasteful to him. This kind of treasure class material was too rare. It had to be known that above Xi'anchen weapons were enchanted weapons, and the formation runes carved onto them made them specialized for sea expansion experts. As for treasure weapons, those were the weapons of experts above the sea expansion realm. Only those kinds of experts could activate the power of a treasure weapon. Guo Ran could at most forge Xi'anchen weapons. He himself felt it was far too wasteful for him to refine treasure class material. Time waits for no one. Just directly forge this into concealed weapons. Furthermore, make each Dragonblood warrior a supremely powerful crossbow specialized toward shooting high-speed arrows. Let me ask you, if every warrior of the Dragonblood Legion shot their crossbows at one person at the same time, what would happen? Asked Long Chen. With my current forging skills, the best crossbow I can make is definitely shockingly powerful. If over 300 people shot one at the same time, then, then even sea expansion experts would end up heavily injured at the least. Guo Ran suddenly realized what Long Chen wanted. Then that's perfect. Our enemies will only grow stronger in the future. These crossbows and concealed weapons will be one of our life-saving measures. So do your best to forge them as fast as possible. Now isn't the time to care about wasting some material. We don't have that much time to waste. We might be alright waiting, but our enemies won't wait for us. Understand, warned Long Chen. I understand. I'll immediately go into seclusion and I won't come out until I'm finished. But boss, in terms of money, I have 2,000 middle-grade spirit stones here. Take these first and focus on creating your armor. I'll think of a way to gather more spirit stones, said Long Chen. He now felt a bit regretful that he had refused to accept the Yun family's spatial ring from Mo Yi. The main reason was that he hadn't felt all right with doing so. In order to use the Mo Mountain Seal to save him, Mo Gate had definitely used up a great deal of resources. Long Chen naturally wouldn't make them work for nothing. However, the Yun family was an ancient family. They had definitely been rich. If he had known this would happen, he would have asked for some spirit stones. Then he wouldn't be in such a strained state. After sending off Guo Ran, someone came to tell Long Chen that Shen Wenlong had come. That made him delighted. Long Chen, Brother Long, Grand Master Long, the fact that you are safe and sound is truly too wonderful. Within Long Chen's room, Zhen Wenlong was fiercely hugging Long Chen. Ah, why can't you just be more peaceful? You almost scared me to death. Considering the huge debt I owe, if you were to die, I would have to follow you. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, I won't die so easily. Brother Zhang, you really have come at the perfect time. Junior brother just happens to have some things to ask of you. Lately, junior brother's pocket has been a bit empty. Can brother Zhang offer some emergency funds? Long Chen laughed. Fuck. You want me to increase my debt again? TCH, I really do have bad luck. How much do you want? I'll see if I can think of something, said Zhen Wenlong. Brother Zhang, you really are a good brother, loyal and admirable. Seeing that Zhen Wenlong didn't have any intention to decline or offer excuses, Long Chen gave him a thumbs up. TCH, drop the act. Right now, you are my biggest creditor. I can't afford to offend you. It seems that nowadays, those who owe money are the real men. Zhen Wenlong bitterly laughed. 
He, you can't put it like that. That's too hurtful. What about that pill formula I gave you last time? Is there a marketplace for it? Asked Long Chen. Ah, just don't even mention that. Just thinking about it makes me angry. That meridian opening pill of yours is definitely heaven defying. There's no way to complain about its effect. But the main ingredient is the meridian opening spirit cliff fruit. And before the destruction of the Yun family, all their trees already died. Just how am I supposed to sell this pill formula? Without the ingredients for the pill, no one would buy it. That pill formula just sits with me now, said Shen Wenlong. He, don't panic. I just asked if there was a marketplace. What are you prattling on about? Let me ask you, if I were to give you several hundred saplings of meridian opening spirit cliff trees, and then you auction the saplings with the pill formula, what would happen? Crack. Zhen Wenlong's cup shattered. Scalding tea poured down his hand, but he didn't notice at all. What? You have. You have several hundred meridian opening spirit cliff trees. Even Zhen Wenlong's voice quivered from emotion. Brothers Zhen, although you are a businessman, our relationship is something formed through slaughter on the battlefield. I've always viewed you as a brother. So please help me keep my secrets between us, said Long Chen. Brother Long, don't worry. Even if I have to lose this life of mine, I won't sell you out. Zhen Wenlong placed both his hands over his chest and wrapped his fingers together, forming the image of a gold coin. Long Chen knew this was the Huaian sect's disciples oath to their wealth god. It was their highest oath. With Long Chen and Zhen Wenlong's relationship, asking Zhen Wenlong to keep his secrets had been superfluous on Long Chen's part. But this matter was just too important, and he had no choice but to be careful. The primal chaos bead's power was too heaven-defying. Each extra person who knew was an increase in danger. Although Long Chen didn't tell Zhen Wenlong about the primal chaos bead, he still needed Zhen Wenlong to keep this matter secret. I have 837 saplings for you here. They are all over a hundred years of age and are beginning to bear fruit. You can ask people to appraise it. Furthermore, this spatial ring contains over 300,000 meridian opening spirit cliff fruits. Once you finish selling the saplings along with the pill formula, the supply still won't meet the demand, so you can sell the fruit in batches. That will definitely provide the greatest profit. Long Chen gave Zhen Wenlong two rings. One was a life ring with the saplings, while the other was a spatial ring with a mountain of fruit. Furthermore, Long Chen's primal chaos space still had over a hundred of this kind of tree. Those trees were filled with fruit that he could pluck at any time. That was enough for him. If he had the channels, he could sell some of them himself to make some pocket money. Zhen Wenlong's eyes shone as he received the two rings. He was extremely moved, as Long Chen was revealing his secret that he had some sort of heaven-defying ability related to vegetation. That was absolute trust. Long Chen, don't worry. I swear on the wealth god that even if I have to die, I will protect your secret. Zhen Wenlong once more repeated his solemn oath. I trust you, brother Zhen, smiled Long Chen. Previously, you said you were lacking middle-grade spirit stones. How many did you need? With these treasures, I can offer you more resources. Zhen Wenlong patted himself on the chest confidently. Then how about one million for now? Fuck. You really are a conner. You want to con me to death. Zhen Wenlong regretted his last words. But it was already too late. Chapter 618 Burning Money Translator Born to be sending off Zhen Wenlong and seeing his helpless expression. Long Chen was also a bit speechless. Perhaps this brother of his would be incredibly depressed now. As soon as Long Chen had stated that number, Zhen Wenlong's excited expression seemed like it had been struck by a hammer. That marvelous change was truly indescribable. However, Zhen Wenlong had said that one million middle-grade spirit stones were absolutely impossible. Even he didn't have the authority to get such a sum from the Huaian sect as soon as he returned. He would gather 100,000 middle-grade spirit stones for Long Chen, but the rest would have to be gathered slowly. Hopefully. He could quickly announce the auctions for the meridian opening spirit cliff trees and get a large sum quickly. Then he could send Long Chen some more money. Zhen Wenlong had told Long Chen that he had given the Huai insect quite a few resources. And those resources would bring in a great deal of money in the future. But the future was the future. From a business standpoint, the Huai insect had already given Long Chen an advance payment on several years worth of profit. For example, the bone tempering pills had once been monopolized by the pill tower. But now that Long Chen had given the Huai insect the pill formula, they had taken up 30% of that market. Although it was only 30%, when compared to how large the world was, it was practically an oceanic sum of money. 
but that money wouldn't be received immediately. It was something that would come in over the years. So the Huaian sect had already been very generous to give him an advance payment of several years' worth of profit, but Long Chen's requirements had already far surpassed that amount. So Zhen Wenlong had had to vouch for him, asking for more resources from the Huaian sect for Long Chen. Right now, Zhen Wenlong's businesses were growing larger and larger, but he found that he himself was growing poorer and poorer. Furthermore, the immense amount of debt he owed made him speechless. However, Businessmen all enjoyed this kind of heart-pounding gambling. So, to Zhen Wenlong, this was also extremely exciting. After sending off Zhen Wenlong, Long Chen took a trip to Guo Ran's seclusion room. Guo Ran was completely focused on smelting the treasure item's fragments. There was a huge furnace on the forging table that was currently at work. Long Chen couldn't help being startled. This forging table's origins were truly too terrifying. It was even able to smell treasure class material. Crack. Crack. Long Chen turned in the direction of a certain sound. He saw that at the bottom of the forging table, there was a formation with dozens of middle grade spirit stones. Their originally crystalline bodies shattered and burst apart, becoming a pile of trash. Once those middle grade spirit stones shattered, the furnace's flame began to weaken. Guo ran hastily threw in a new batch of spirit stones. As for the old spirit stones, he threw them in the trash. Long Chen saw that his trash can was already filled with the bodies of over a hundred middle grade spirit stones. Forger was truly a money burning profession. A plate sized fragment had required over a hundred middle grade spirit stones to smelt. What Long Chen didn't know was that this result was only because of the ancient forging table. Otherwise, even if all the Zhuanshan Super Monastery's forging masters gathered, they wouldn't even be able to smelt this plate sized fragment. It could be said that Guo Ran's forging table was an extremely heaven-defying treasure. It was simply that Long Chen and Guo Ran were still unaware of that. Long Chen might not know how heaven-defying this forging table was, but he knew that forging items cost a heaven-defying amount of money. Guo Ran was completely focused on smelting the material. He had already entered a special state. A state where he had no emotions. A state where he had no self. The only thing in his eyes was that material. Seeing that there was no way he could help. Long Chen hastily left the room. He carefully closed the door and ordered that no one was to disturb Guo Ran. When he returned to his residence, he saw Men Qi chattering with little snow. Seeing Long Chen arrive, Men Qi turned slightly red and stood up. Is there any activity from Wan Er? asked Long Chen. No, but the fluctuations coming from the room are becoming more and more stable. Refining that Dao Rune fruit should only be a matter of time. Men Qi smiled. Then that's good. Men Qi. Just wait for me to obtain another fruit. Then you can also quickly become a celestial. Comforted Long Chen. Holding her hands. Men Qi smiled and teased. What? You think I'll get jealous? No. No. Definitely not. I just feel sorry toward you. Said Long Chen hastily. Long Chen. There's nothing for you to feel sorry about. You've already put in enough for us. We're all aware of it. We're all cultivators. Not mortal women. On the path of cultivation. There are countless trials and tribulations. We have to cherish each person by our side. Right, said Men Qi gently. If you put it like that, I'll feel a bit upset inside. It's like you feel very bewildered and helpless toward the future, said Long Chen. This isn't being bewildered or helpless but a kind of attitude. The fact that we could meet and stay together is a kind of destiny. I don't want to wait until that destiny is over to feel regret. All I hope is for us all to be together. I... I don't want to experience what happened last time again. Saying that last line, Men Qi sobbed. She hugged Long Chen, crying into his chest. Men Qi had a gentle and tactful temperament. She rarely expressed her own emotions like this. Now, after spending all this time with Long Chen, she finally unburdened her heart. I'm sorry. I've made you worry. Long Chen hugged Men Qi, filled with shame. During the time they had thought he had died, Men Qi and Tang Wan Er had spent all day crying for him. He truly had made things hard on them. Long Chen, promise me, even if we have to die, we'll die together. I don't want to part. That kind of pain is too terrifying. Men Qi clenched Long Chen as if she was afraid he would fly away. All right, I'll listen to you. Long Chen knew that at this time, no matter what promises he made, no matter how he tried to explain himself, it would all be useless. The only thing he could say was the truth. As expected, as soon as he said this, Men Qi became delighted, and an extremely moving smile appeared on her face. It was like a flower blooming out of the water, still dotted with droplets, beautiful beyond compare. Men Qi, 
You really are beautiful. Long Chen couldn't help but praise her. Men Qi blushed slightly, appearing even more beautiful. She gently said, It seems that after all this time, other than that time on Sunset Mountain outside the capital, you've never praised me like this. This isn't praise but the truth. In my heart, you are like a grand immortal who has descended into the world of mortals. Each time I'm in front of you, I feel ashamed of my own inferiority. It's like just talking to you is a blasphemy, sighed Long Chen. Dislikable. This glib mouth of yours is how you tricked the other sisters. Men Qi rubbed her hand against his face as if she were shaving him of his embarrassment. Being touched by Men Qi's hand made Long Chen feel extremely warm, and he couldn't help giving her hand a kiss. It was like Men Qi was given an electric shock and she hastily took back her hand, blushing. Even her ears were red now. This is your punishment for talking nonsense. Long Chen laughed. You. I didn't say anything wrong. This is exactly how you tricked the other sisters. Men Qi lowered her head, not daring to look at Long Chen. Definitely not. Chu Yao was someone who was in a similar situation as me. As for Tang Wan or our relationship, he, how should I put it? It should be a quarrelsome but loving couple. In truth, I also want to talk properly to her, but I always feel like that's so boring. I rather like Wan Er's explosive rage. Long Chen laughed. Each time, you always anger Wan Er so much. In truth, Wan Er is a very gentle woman, sighed Men Qi. Gentle? It seems this word doesn't have the slightest relation to Wan Er. How come in all our time together, I never noticed such a thing? Isn't it because you always intentionally tease her? Using her words, you are a typical case of a child who will go rip up the roof tiles if you aren't given a beating every day, said Men Qi. I'm actually this amazing? Even I didn't know that. You. You should treat Wan Er better. Although she likes to be fierce. She really does love you, advised Men Qi. Do you love me? Long Chen suddenly smiled naughtily. I don't. You're too wicked, said Men Qi in a huff. Why? HMPH. Because you're too fickle. All you like to do is mess around with other women. What's the use in loving you? Said Men Qi. Hearing that, Long Chen went silent. Seeing Long Chen like that, Men Qi thought he had gotten angry and she held Long Chen's hand. Long Chen, I was just joking. Don't get angry. I'm not such a petty person. In truth, I really do have some problems in that regard. I, Men Qi covered his mouth, cutting him off. Long Chen, you don't need to explain yourself. Since we've chosen to be with you, none of us have any thoughts of trying to occupy all of you. When Wanner interrogated you that day, it wasn't because she was jealous. It's just that you have a natural wildness that seems to want to fight against heaven and earth. That kind of wildness poses a fatal attraction for women. Despite clearly knowing it's very dangerous, we can't help investigating. But then most fatal of all, Long Chen, you care so deeply. You take responsibility for each person you like. Whether it is your female confidants or your hot-blooded brothers, you are willing to risk your life for them. That's also why we will all have no complaints or regrets to stay by your side. But do you know? You aren't a god. You are just a human. All those emotions have become a heavy burden on you. When Ye's Hikyu and Lu Fang Er fell, I saw how pained you were. At that moment, I knew I would never be able to leave you. However, I also don't want to see you suffer that kind of grief again, because we will also feel extremely pained. That's why we don't want you to get more lovers. It's not that we'll get jealous, but that we're afraid of you being in pain again. Let me say it again. You are not a god. You can't guarantee that no one by your side will fall again. The fewer of us there are, the less chance of one of us falling then there will be less chance of you having to go through that pain again. Long Chen, do you understand? Men Qi gently caressed Long Chen's face Novaloon.com I understand. Long Chen nodded. It seemed she had given this a great deal of thought. Good. Then tell me, just how many girls did you mess around with this time? Men Qi suddenly changed tunes and stared deeply into Long Chen's eyes. Comma Chapter 619 Training in the Second Form of Split the Heavens Translator Born to be it was with great difficulty that Long Chen managed to escape from Men Qi. He had to admit he really was a bit afraid of her. The main thing was that he really was guilty. Although he repeatedly said that he wouldn't do something like messing around with random women. In Long Chen's heart, there was a figure that couldn't be washed away. Yu Ziaokian. In truth, he and Yu Ziaokian were just two strangers that had met by chance. They had met in the secret realm, and they had parted in the secret realm. When the secret realm had closed, their relationship had ended, but Long Chen found that this reasoning of his was just him trying to deceive himself. As time passed, 
he found that he had a great urge to once more see her enchanting charm. It seemed he couldn't forget such a peerlessly beautiful woman no matter how hard he tried. Long Chen had an urge to slap himself, but he wasn't able to trick himself. He also wished he could be unconstrained like others, treating beauties as if they didn't mean anything to him. But that would just be acting, and acting that way would just make himself an idiot. In the end, the only one to suffer would be himself. It was just like how he had first met Men Qi. Back then, if Long Chen had gotten angry to maintain his dignity when Men Qi had withdrawn from their marriage agreement, saying vicious words full of rancor to protect his own face, he would have regretted it for the rest of his life. Only later had he learned that Men Qi had withdrawn from their marriage agreement in order to protect him. Now, Long Chen felt incomparably proud of his thick face. After Lu Fang'er had died, Long Chen had done his best to restrain his emotions. He knew that if he wanted more people by his side, he had to have enough power to protect them. Otherwise, there would definitely be a sad ending again. That was also why Long Chen had intentionally maintained a certain distance from Mu Zhu. Perhaps Mu Zhu might like Long Chen, but Long Chen was unable to accept those feelings. Those feelings were a kind of burden. Long Chen left the super monastery and went north. There, he found a secluded mountain range where he was planning on training in the second form of Split the Heavens. Right now, after this much time, the primal chaos space's withered trees had recovered slightly and had grown new leaves. That was a very good start. The beginning was the slowest part. But once they recovered this initial vitality, they would recover even faster. He, the second form of Split the Heavens. Let me see just how powerful you are. Long Chen was filled with anticipation, because before the heaven-splitting divine sects Guan Mayan had left, he had told Long Chen not to push himself too hard with this move. He said that even he was unable to use this attack. Back then, Long Chen had jumped in fright. Guan Mayan was an exceptionally powerful half-step C expansion expert, but even he did not have the qualifications to use the second form of Split the Heavens. Guan Mayan had said that the second form of Split the Heavens required a very firm and robust spiritual key. He himself was unable to use it, and he acknowledged that it was because his comprehension of his cultivation technique was lacking. Although Guan Mayan hadn't said it explicitly, Long Chen knew that this cultivation technique was the battle god sacred canon, a priceless treasure on the same level as the Zhuanshan catalog. It had already surpassed the scope of his understanding. As for the nine forms of Split the Heavens, it required a person to cultivate the battle god sacred canon to a certain level before being able to be used. The two of them complemented each other. Guan Mayan had his own reasons for transmitting the second form of Split the Heavens to Long Chen. One of those was precisely because when Long Chen used Split the Heavens, he sensed a completely different aura than that of the battle god sacred canon. He wanted to know why Long Chen's cultivation technique was also capable of using the first form. So he was curious whether he could use the second form as well. Another reason was because he approved of Long Chen's domineering side, and Long Chen had already learned the first form, so there was no reason not to teach him the second form. The heaven-splitting divine sects members were all just that strange. The only ones they admired were true men, and sometimes their actions went against common sense. Thus, he had transmitted the second form of Split the Heavens. But before leaving, he had left behind a warning. If Long Chen was unable to use it, he shouldn't forcibly try it, or his meridians would explode. Long Chen closed his eyes and began to circulate a spiritual key. He slowly poured that spiritual key through one acupuncture point after another. After a while, Long Chen's aura completely erupted, causing the space around him to rumble. Kai Yang, He Yin, Miang Qi, and Fu. Long Chen's spiritual key first poured through the first nine acupuncture points of the first form before beginning to go through the new points. This was one of the most abnormal aspects of Split the Heavens. The second form was superimposed on top of the first form. It was similar to the saber technique Long Chen had comprehended back then to superimpose the power of three slashes of his saber. Each slash was stronger than the previous. As Long Chen had grown stronger, that kind of technique had already lost most of its effect. Thus. Long Chen no longer bothered using it anymore, but the second form of Split the Heavens was superimposed on the first form. The first form required pouring spiritual key through nine acupuncture points. As for the second form, it continued where the first form left off, once more going through nine acupuncture points. In other words, spiritual key would go through 18 acupuncture points before being released. 13, 14, 15, 16, 1, 1, fuck. Can't do it. Boom. 
The ground beneath Long Chen's feet exploded. It was like a volcano was erupting from within Long Chen's body, and his clothes blew off his body. Long Chen vomited a mouthful of blood, filled with shock. Trying to use the second form of split the heavens had actually caused him to be injured. Damn. No wonder even a half-stepsy expansion expert is unable to use the second form. It really is terrifying. My spiritual key wasn't even able to reach the 17th point. When I tried to force it, it actually caused my spiritual key to explode within my meridians. I get it. There is no skill to speak of when using the second form. It relies entirely on one explosive release. If you don't use enough power, you won't be able to use it. If you try accumulating energy before using it, then the first few acupuncture points will be put under too much pressure and there is danger of the meridians being damaged. Since it's like that, he, divine ring, a 300 meter three color ring appeared behind Long Chen. A terrifying pressure soared into the sky. Again 14, 15, 16, 1, 1, 17. The first 17 acupuncture points have been opened. This 18th acupuncture point better open for me. But Long Chen was horrified to find that even with the divine ring, even with his spiritual key circulating furiously, he was unable to open the 18th acupuncture point. That acupuncture point was like a heavenly chasm taunting Long Chen. No matter how Long Chen tried, he was unable to step across. Three star battle armor, Long Chen roared furiously, and three stars appeared in his eyes. Endless pressure caused the void to tremble, rumble. The 18th acupuncture point finally broke open under the torrent of power from the three star battle armor. Split the heavens too. Long Chen's saber rumbled as it released a saber image several miles long. It soared high into the air first smashing apart all the clouds. It seemed like a huge divine blade, but then the blood red saber image slashed down on the ground, splitting it in two. Boom. The saber image pierced through the mountains, crashing through the ground. A deep canyon appeared in front of Long Chen. Suddenly, the ground trembled and a wave of key soared out. Endless lava spurted out at Long Chen. Fuck. I'm out of spiritual key. Long Chen's expression changed completely. He had managed to use the second form of split the heavens succeeding in splitting apart the land, but he had exhausted all of his spiritual key. This lava was spurting out extremely quickly. It quickly filled the canyon and then spread. That terrifying heat devoured trees, rocks, boulders, and mountains. Distant bird cries appeared in the distance along with the sound of all the animals in the vicinity fleeing. Fuck. Long Chen turned and fled. But without spiritual key, his three-star battle armor faded and his divine ring disappeared. It caused him to be unable to use the netherworld ghost steps. Just relying on his two feet, he was unable to outrun the lava. This time, I'm really going to be turned into a cooked pig. I probably won't have a single hair remaining, cried Long Chen. With his current physical body, he would be able to survive being submerged in lava for a while without spiritual key, but his hair would instantly be sacrificed. Just as the lava was about to envelop him, the serpent tattoo on his right arm lit up and a blue flame serpent flew out. That blue flame serpent grew until it was 300 meters long. It opened its mouth and suddenly devoured Long Chen. Long Chen couldn't help being startled. He hadn't incited the flame serpent to do this as he didn't have the spiritual key to do so. It had acted on its own. After Long Chen was enveloped by the earth flame, that terrifying lava swept over the two of them. But with the earth flame's protection, Long Chen was completely safe. Looking through the earth flame's translucent body, he saw the lava surging around him, and he couldn't help but cry that he was unlucky. How was he supposed to have known that there would be magma down below? An incense sticks time later, that lava finally stopped spurting out, but everything within thousands of miles had been covered by the lava now. The earth flame brought Long Chen outside that range, then turned into a ray of light that returned to Long Chen's arm. Long Chen gently rubbed the flame serpent tattoo warmly. It had actually formed its own intelligence and had sensed he had been in danger coming out to protect him on its own. This discovery was extremely gratifying to Long Chen. Unfortunately, he didn't have anything as a reward right now. Without spiritual key, he couldn't even give it any pill flame. Looking at this immense lava pool, Long Chen was filled with a grand feeling. Although he was only able to use the second form of split the heavens once before running out of energy, this attack's power filled him with confidence. The dragon expert had told Long Chen that it was unable to send him more energy for now he would have to rely on himself. Although he wouldn't have the dragon expert's help, the second form of split the heavens gave him a great deal of confidence. This would be his greatest reliance when fighting sea expansion experts. 
Now, Long Chen was even more grateful toward the heaven-splitting divine sect Guan Mayan. At the same time, he was feeling even more apologetic for the slap in his face. But then when he thought about it, perhaps if he hadn't given him that slap, he wouldn't have transmitted the second form of split the heavens to him. Thinking of that, Long Chen couldn't help feeling it was funny. Cleaning himself up a bit, Long Chen returned to the super monastery. When he returned to his residence, as soon as he entered his courtyard, he felt a powerful force lock onto him. Chapter 620 Sent to Serve a Penal Sentence Translator Born to be this is Heavenly Deo Energy. Long Chen was shocked. He had actually been locked down by Heavenly Deo Energy. Brat, receive my attack. A cry rang out as Tang Wan'er's palm descended on him. This exquisite palm sealed any of Long Chen's retreat paths. Long Chen saw countless runes circulating around Tang Wan'er. She appeared just like a goddess who had sealed all of heaven and earth. Haha, <laughs> it really worked. Long Chen was filled with delight. Although he had felt that devouring a heavenly day of fruit would be able to allow someone to become a celestial, he had still been in disbelief. This was too miraculous. Seeing Tang Wan'er fiercely charging at him, how could Long Chen not understand what was going on? She was clearly trying to give him an intimidating display of her power. He, little girl, you want to intimidate me? You're still far too lacking. Long Chen didn't dodge. Instead, he reached out his two hands directly at Tang Wan'er's chest. A-H-H. Rogue. Tang Wan'er had never imagined that Long Chen would use such an immoral trick. In her panic, she hastily changed her attack, defending against those evil claws. But in the instant she changed her attack, Long Chen also changed his. His arms stretched around Tang Wan'er, and he pulled her into his embrace, giving her a kiss on the head. He, I knew you like me, but don't you think running into my embrace like this is a bit too obvious? You, shameless, you, scoundrel, only a ghost would like you. Let me go. Tang Wan'er was unable to escape from Long Chen's grasp. Her heart pounded. In truth, she didn't dislike this feeling at all. But Long Chen's words made her blush and get angry. She struggled with all her might but she was unable to escape. In her panic, she actually bit Long Chen on the neck. Long Chen's physical body was too powerful though. He wasn't afraid of being bitten by her. In fact, he put on an extremely refreshed expression. Ah, don't stop. Keep kissing me. Yes, that's right. Just like that. Cough. Maybe the two of you should stop before you go too far. Acting like this in broad daylight. Aren't you embarrassed? Menki and Little Snow were standing in the distance. Seeing the two of them fighting, Menki shook her head helplessly. Scoundrel, hurry up and let me go. Tang Wan'er was as red as an apple. Escaping from his grasp, she viciously glared at him, looking like an extremely fierce but also extremely cute tigress. Wan'er, you can't beat him. Each time, you're the one to lose out. Menki came up and wrapped her arms around the furious Tang Wan'er, smiling. This scoundrel used an absolutely immoral move. Otherwise, I would definitely have put him in his place, raged an unconvinced Tang Wan'er. If you want to put me in my place, just ask. Come, let's continue where we let off. I definitely won't resist. Long Chen pointed to the mark on his neck, a naughty smile on his face. That was what had been left behind by her bite. Even Men Ki turned red and she rebuked. Long Chen, you're becoming more and more like a rogue. What wicked things have you been up to in the last few days? Heavens, what are these accusations? Let's not talk like that. After losing one fight, we can compete in other areas. Long Chen laughed. All right, don't fight anymore. Wan'er only left her seclusion yesterday, and she has already condensed her own heavenly Dao runes, making her a true celestial, explained Men Ki. The fact that Tang Wan'er had become a celestial was great for all of them. She would be the greatest safeguard of the Legion's lives. However, Wan'er, you were too impatient. You still haven't managed to summon your manifestation to support you. A celestial's strongest point is their manifestation. That manifestation increases the power of their attacks while weakening the attacks of their enemies. It's extremely shameless. That's also why celestials are called unrevealed existences. It's because the heavens help them to cheat. Putting it another way, it's the most shameless, most contemptible kind of ability. Long Chen thought of his first fight with Yun Wusheng and almost exploded in rage. That technique had truly been shameless. But now, his cultivation base had grown, and he had the three-star battle armor. A first-rank celestial strength was unable to suppress him anymore. The only reason he had a chance to resist was because of the divine ring countering the effect of the cry of the heavenly deos. Otherwise, without it, when Long Chen ran into a celestial, 
he would have to run as far away as possible. Thank you, Long Chen, said Tang Wan'er gratefully. Long Chen had obtained such a heaven-defying heavenly day of fruit, but instead of consuming it himself, he had given it to her. That made her incredibly grateful. Didn't you already thank me just now? Long Chen pointed to the mark on his neck. Seeing that, Tang Wan'er's gratefulness vanished like a wisp of smoke. She viciously glared at Long Chen, wanting to take a bite out of him. Long Chen, talk normally. If you continue like this, I'll also get angry. Men Qi gently rapped Long Chen. How was it that he couldn't say three words without turning into a scoundrel? Fine, I was wrong. Let me express my apologies to you, beautiful ladies. Let's discuss what a celestial is. Long Chen put away his naughty smile and said, In truth, I also don't understand much about celestials. It seems the super monastery doesn't have many descriptions about them. The majority of celestials awaken naturally on their own. However, there are also some that awaken through inheritances. For example, Mo Nian. After he obtained that inheritance, that power formed his own core runes. Those runes have a connection to the energy of heaven and earth. When he activates those core runes, the energy of the world will echo alongside his energy. Heaven and earth's energy will surge toward him, forming a sea of runes. Within that sea of runes, he is the ruler. It can be treated as a domain in which he has an absolute superiority. One or, your runes can already fly out of your body. Did you not sense the energy of the world supporting you? I did. But those core runes you're talking about have merged with my original wind runes. Buzz. Tang Wan'er stretched out her hand, and a three-inch wind blade appeared. There was a rune inside the wind blade, but the rune was extremely odd. It was completely different from Tang Wan'er's old runes. My wind runes have merged with the heavenly Dao runes. Moreover, these new runes possess a terrifying strength. The wind blade in Tang Wan'er's hand spun faster and faster, in the end forming a wheel that cut through the void. Because it was spinning so fast, it looked like it was still, but the space around it was constantly twisting. Long Chen also felt his scalp turn numb. It seemed this small wind blade could easily cut through his skin. Damn, what a change. Long Chen gulped. Tang Wan'er's wind blade was too terrifying. And this was only just after she had refined the heavenly Dao fruit. She still wasn't accustomed to her strength yet. Perhaps it wouldn't be long before an even more terrifying celestial than Yun Wusheng appeared by Long Chen's side. He, Sister Wan'er, are you tense anywhere? Do you want me to massage you? Long Chen smiled, a fawning expression on his face. Why does looking at your smile give me goosebumps? Tang Wan'er looked at Long Chen vigilantly. Him? He's afraid that once you get stronger, you'll bully him the way he bullied you. Men Qi laughed. Long Chen hastily said, Not at all. Wan'er, haven't you noticed that you're even more beautiful than yesterday? What empty flattery. Tang Wan'er naturally wouldn't be duped. Long Chen couldn't help feeling a bit awkward. It seemed even admitting defaturing and apologizing wasn't good enough now. He had to find a way to increase his own strength, as he really was not interested in being bullied by her. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, the monastery head has summoned you. Just as Long Chen was chatting with Tang Wan'er, a disciple ran up to give him a report. Oh, Long Chen was surprised. What happened? Tang Wan'er and Men Qi both looked at Long Chen curiously. Didn't the monastery head just announce that she was going into seclusion? Why would she suddenly summon me? Perhaps this matter is a bit fishy. Wait here, I'll go. Long Chen went directly toward the Zhuanshan Palace. When he arrived, he found that the atmosphere was a bit strange. That was because all the Zhuanshan Super Monastery's subordinate monastery sect leaders were present, and all of them looked at him strangely. Some of them seemed to be wearing delighted smiles at his misfortune. Long Chen also saw rage and a bit of helplessness in Chu Wuhan's eyes when he entered. That gave him a bad feeling. Furthermore, Zhao Qingyi was smiling, but that smile seemed to be one delighting in revenge. Assistant Monastery Head Zhao, your smile really is brilliant. The fact that you didn't go prostitute yourself is really a shame. Even if Long Chen was an idiot, he would be able to tell nothing good was happening today. He immediately taunted Zhao Qingyi upon seeing her sinister smile. As expected, Long Chen's insult landed like a slap on her face. She immediately flew into a rage. Long Chen. It seems you want to be punished for not respecting your elders. With your kind of moral conduct, you count as an elder? Don't flatter yourself. Are you not aware of what kind of person you are? Do you not remember your own immoral acts? But it's fine if you don't remember them, because others will help you too. When the time comes, they'll properly settle their debts with you, said Long Chen coldly. 
This idiot woman had actually taken action to block Xu Wuhan when he had been chased down by Yun Wusheng. In the end, Xu Wuhan had been unable to help him at all. But Long Chen was no saint. He remembered this enmity. This was no different from personally trying to kill him. You. You? What you? I didn't come here to listen to your crap. Nor did I come to see you prostitute yourself. I came because the monastery had summoned me. So you should stop your sheet and stop blindly wasting my time. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to continue looking at this idiot woman, and he turned toward Xu Wuhan. Xu Wuhan's expression was apologetic as she said, Long Chen, starting from today, you must spend three months defending our territory in the chaos region as a penal sentence. 